This is the tale of the Ark of Eshka, the Hylian king Ganaramus, and the four unlikely heroes that must grow in unity of the spirit of the hero they received to stop him. Last time, our heroes, having defeated the Temple of Courage and the... Nope, don't want to think about it. They simply defeated a thing, a thing that can make your nest in your ears while you sleep and you pick up covered in lots of tiny mini things that make their way into your mouth. Nope, not thinking about it. Nope, nope, nope. Anyway, they moved on and went back to the town and asked President Talali if they could buy the cart they'd fixed the wheel of by removing the back wheels entirely and having a Goron craftsman attach a gymnastics bar to the back of in order for Kogoro to be the wheel instead. They used this cart to journey towards Gerudo, thrashing enemies that stood in their way, and then changed their mind and decided to go running away from enemies instead, despite now probably having the single most intimidating wagon to ever cross the entirety of Hyrule. But regardless, they made their way to the oasis known as Karakara Bazaar, where they performed more shopping. Thankfully, they were too broke to do much shopping, so our heroes, saviors of our world, they were only moderately distracted. But after that, they came up on the great to the Gerudo city of the Gerudo Empire, capital of the Gerudo, home to the Gerudo people. At least they came up with more creative names in their other towns, which is more than the Goron can say. Critiques aside, the city was vast and heavily guarded, following the age-old tradition that no males be permitted entry into the all-woman city, the only exception, of course, being the technically asexual Goron, as well as any political or heroic persons they wished to host. Hoping that this rule would apply to them, they approached the guards, but once they saw that they were with Zelda, they began to arrest the gang. Arbit, Kogoro, and Zelda did not resist, figuring they'd be able to talk their way out of it because Zelda has connections to the Empress. But Zanzi and Rova both decided to make a run for it. Well, Rova made a run for it. Zanzi actually just pretended she wasn't with them, that the seven foot tall woman with blue hair that had to have come from the same wagon they were all in somehow just wasn't with them. The legendary guards of Gerudo City, everyone, keeping their people safe for years and years. Anyway, after Rova outran the guard, she disguised herself as a Hylian woman and gained entry into the city to meet up with Zanzi, who decided to go visit her grandma. Her grandma then chastised her for not bringing the Hylian herbs that she needed for her recipe, despite never having actually asked for such, and became very protective against the Hylian, assuming there she might be there for her money. Rova convinced the grandma that they should go and find their cook friend and bring him back to make a recipe, a plan with which Zanzi seemed strongly against, but the grandma thought getting free food and help and to meet Zanzi's friend would be a great idea. So they went to the palace to find out what happened to their friends. When they got there, they stumbled across Kogoro and Empress Kasha having a jousting match with sand seals, except they were doing it on stone instead of sand rendering the sand seals unable to drag them along. So instead of riding sand seals, they just decided to pick up their sand seals over one shoulder and charge towards each other at full speed. <sighs> what can only very drunk Olympics, if such a thing could exist. While they went and prepared themselves for a round of sand seal shut put, the two girls snagged Arbit from the crowd and ran for it. Despite Arbit not being a woman, the guards around town were too confused by the fact that a humanoid bat creature to make any sort of assumptions about his gender, thus they let the group freely traverse back to Zanzi's grandma. There, Arbit mixed some energizing ingredients into Grandma's soup, causing the already feisty old lady to start fighting against Zanzi in the spirit of Leroy! Jenkins! <clears throat> Sorry, I have no idea where that came from. A fight which Zanzi instantly won in one fell swoop. Our heroes have been less than heroic of late, and time is running out for them to save our beloved kingdom. Will they manage to get back on track and save the day? Frankly, I doubt it, but 
All our hope rests with them. Her grandma may have stoop lives, but she's got a rolling pin. It's Black Rose Storm. The coordinates to the location of his true vessel are located at the end of a convoluted series of puzzles and ciphers. It's solid state. Will told him to do things, so so he do thing to make Will happy that he did thing. It's Viridian Adventure. He refused to write an intro this time because he won't let anyone tell him what to do, even though he just wrote the intro that said these things. It's Kay Grovile! <laughs> I'm Will, your Game Master, who got a free subscription to the streamer of my choice when I linked my Amazon Prime account to my Twitch. And this is Zelda Quest! Wow. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> You know, shameless plug. Yeah. Also, not Grovile and I matching glasses. <laughs> you guys have matching it. glasses? <laughs> Almost. Never even noticed. Cute. Uh, to that's be fair, a I have like six pairs of glasses, so. My glasses don't match anyone's. You know how I know? Because I lost one of the arms to them, so I used arms from a different pair of glasses. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Hey, it works, right? My glasses aren't prescription glasses. They're just blue light filters for, like, gaming, so I don't actually need to wear them. Well, wow. But sometimes I feel left out because everyone else in this group has glasses. So <laughs> you know, I'm just <laughs> realizing that, group. and I've been with this group for how long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even notice. Coming up on a year. It'll be a it's, year in, yeah. like, January. I yes. legit did not notice. <laughs> I can't imagine having perfect vision. Yeah, that no, that's so well, foreign to me. I can't either because well, I don't need to imagine it. You be so, quiet, girl. Vile. There so is no sister, such thing as perfect vision, actually. My sister just had to have an eye exam, and her vision is so humble. better than mine, almost exactly like mine. But they told her that she doesn't need to wear her glasses twenty four seven, and then they told me that I need to wear mine twenty four seven. I feel I I feel betrayed. <laughs> wow, uh, as you should. Not fun. <laughs> All righty, uh, looks like we've got something queued up for Viridian here. Oh boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> what the heck are you going on about now, Jenkins? Uh. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> Jenkins is the only one who makes me ever regret having that as a channel point redeem on Will's channel. The is that a challenge? One. <laughs> <laughs> He's made me say a lot of different things. I'm just saying. Is that a challenge? Because I can make it worse. I can't imagine how you could make it worse than me reading half of yes. Romeo and Juliet. Uh, put I the could the transcript to a Teletubbies that. episode in. Yeah! <laughs> Booba! <laughs> Booba! <laughs> that was worse! <laughs> Anyways. The transcript to a Teletubbies episode would just be the narrator and then the Teletubbies saying their own names. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you have to say it over and over, so... <laughs> we should watch the words. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> Probably not, Jenkins. Probably not. <clears throat> Canada geese like to live in wetland habitats, which provide the necessary food, water, shelter, and breeding grounds for them. They also live on or around rivers, lakes, whether natural or man-made, constructed. Canada geese have well-defined and defended territories. When you see a male chasing and biting at another goose's tail or wings, he is defending his territory, mate, or offspring. Ganders are extremely defensive of the nesting goose. 
his mate during nesting season. It is during the ne <laughs> There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. Welcome in Jenkins. Welcome in Alex. And thank you for the raid earlier as well. Denalid, welcome in. And Dance is here. Who got first? Rose Day. Congrats on game first. Yay. Yay. Well, now Fitz can't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> now he can get mad at you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Credits are rolling uh, along the bottom of the screen. Exclamation point Zelda Quest uh, for for more for for more information, or if you're watching um, afterwards, it is in the description below. And speaking of watching this af afterwards, we are on Spotify. Please, if you have not yet followed the uh, podcast on Spotify, please do so. Leaving five star reviews also a incredibly boosts us in the algorithm ah, algorithm as well so yeah. yeah let's go make him popular on spotify everybody the rest of us don't matter it's only yeah. for will's benefit <laughs> yeah exactly spot on no <laughs> nah, i knew it no one makes this um oh you oh oh there was a joke redeem you're you're right dan sorry about that um, go ahead, Grovile. He's gonna tell well, a joke with a mouthful of water. I mean, let me tell you a joke. So, uh, have you guys seen the news about that, uh, that, that Zelda movie coming out? Yeah. It's been highly anticipated for a while. Ah! Oh. That's definitely the best one. <laughs> no, that is top tier. There you go. <laughs> All of your jokes are bad, but that one's better. Can I quit? <laughs> Am I allowed to quit? Just no. walk out. Dang no, it. it's too late to quit. <laughs> you signed a contract, Rose. Just have Grandma take my place. It's okay. We signed a blood contract here. What? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> you dumb him. You wow. just never knew it. <laughs> I knew I was missing something that day. <laughs> <laughs> Felt a little dizzy when I woke up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, for the raid. I should probably do the raid dance in, in honor of. Yeah, the you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Attention, oh! please. The adorable Will and their 123 friends have just raided the channel. Welcome in. Thank you for that raid earlier, Alex. And uh, while we were getting set up for the stream. And um, yeah, so you guys seen the bottom right of my schedule. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are lunch hour streams. Do additional streams in the evenings on Wednesday, such as. And uh, Saturday streams will be returning. Not this Saturday, because this Saturday and Friday I'm out of town for a wedding. But the Saturday after that, they'll finally be returning. Yeah. Oh, going to weddings. <laughs> nah, it'll be fun. It's I just cousins. did that last weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah, imagine getting married. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> imagine saying vows to another person, stating imagine that you having be with someone who loves you. you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, Rose. <laughs> Listen, I'm single and sad. It's okay. <laughs> and what's oh, your point, Alex? What's your point? Yeah. I mean, yes, but what's your point? <laughs> oh, boy. All righty. Yeah. So um, with all of that squared and out of the way, probably uh, let us roll for Rayquaza. Wow. I don't want to. Too bad. It requires too much effort. No, it doesn't. I got so close. I got so close. If one of those oh, sevens was a six. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you did. If only that seven were anything else. <laughs> Could we pretend it was the number he needed? <laughs> Just so we could see what would happen. I was, I was I was pretty close too. Not as close. So I was, <laughs> I, he was he was one number off. I was two numbers off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got one, three, four, five, six. I mean, I got a nat twenty. Does that count for anything? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it for no. 20. It's just you. It's just wasted luck at this point. Actually, it's probably the worst. You don't want to have a 20 on here since the highest you can get on the D4 is a 4. You, you literally can't do anything with that 20. It uh, wastes your 20s for later. Actually, there's no D20s in the system, so never mind. Don't worry uh, about it. Yeah, that's fair. Huh. All right. Yeah, I know Jenkins a wedding, right? Since Palm isn't going to have an actual an actual ceremony, we need we need we need to invade some wedding now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, crash some parties all righty so anyways when we last left our heroes actually no we're going we're going to hard cut into it into this so i'm not giving anyone context on what happened last time because you know what's <laughs> happening right now the agoron and an empress are have are having like the <laughs> what are y'all doing actually what what, what? I don't know. <laughs> I think the last thing we were doing was shot putting sand seals. Yeah, that's not the right. I'd right. imagine this just keeps escalating until they're like destroying buildings out of competition. I feel like they both would have passed out by now. <laughs> I think we were at it for like activity. three hours. Like... But like they could both like Viridian rolled to like see how he was holding his liquor, and he was holding it pretty well. So I don't know if they would be passed well, there's out. Well, the liquor, now. but there's all the crazy physical stuff they've been doing too. Like I feel like he'd be tired. I don't at the know. Very least. I think during last stream we had been at it for like three hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming I mean, we're that gonna long. Be We've had worse good. battles. I think. I think at this point, y'all are y'all have both gotten pretty exhausted. And now you're just having a staring contest. <laughs> or, just staring. Yeah, it's like first. Do Goron blink needs a blink? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goron's blink. Yeah. Yeah. But why? <laughs> Don't. Why ask does anybody it. else blink? Yeah, because well, it lubricates your moisture. eyes. Yeah. I would feel like Goron consume water. I feel like the only ones who would need to blink would be, or who don't need to blink, would be Zora. I think they'd need to blink more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Zora, they might be like fish, like they might have multiple sets of eyelids. That's what like, I'm like, thinking. So, so not, not fish, but like some other underwater creatures. Yeah. They can see underwater, but they can also have their eyes protected. The way I see it is by the end of this, if the Empress and I don't at least come to a, a agreement handshake there that like, hey, you're cool. Yeah, you're cool, too. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. All right. Um, so that's what's so that's what's happening over 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 yonder. And uh, who's. I think the only other one with y'all is is just Zelda. Yeah, because Arbit got snagged. Yeah. Yeah, I'm holding a pot of soup somewhere else. No, well, I'm I'm watching from the crowd, but I've been disguised this whole time. Oh, so, so you didn't bro, go? I thought you went back to the to the house. No, we did a swap. I was at the house, and yeah, Arbit was here, swap, and so, so then we, we did a swap versus Grandma. Yeah. So what I was doing is I'm disguised as a Hylian and I keep using reverse momentum to mess up Goro, but he doesn't know where I am because he doesn't know what my Hylian form looks like. So. Well, you can't reverse momentum a staring contest. <laughs> I can try. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> if she's if she's about to blink, I can reverse, reverse momentum the Hylian. No, she's just open. really really uncomfortable like why wow, i keep trying to blink but it's not working oh uh, use the bucket rune 
to uh, put to like donate tears from yourself onto <laughs> on, onto the, I on the Empress. I still I still have the tears of that one child we saved in my bucket. <laughs> down, down that hill. That's messed up, man. This is this, this is, is the really next Zelda up. game, Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Children. <laughs> Oh my god. Tears of the forest children. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Alrighty. Oh, no. So anyways. anyways. <laughs> uh, cutting over to the... Um, <laughs> uh, cu cutting o over to the... Whatchamacallit. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the grandma and the other two. What? What, Alex? Oh, <laughs> that's for you, honey. No. <laughs> Your bot comes in at the best time. I love it. I love it. Tracer at one point was like, "Oh, you should use an AI and have the AI like actually make something that makes sense." I was like, "Why? Look at this. <laughs> I need something like this on my stream." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyways um hashtag shameless plug absolutely yeah the um oh i had a really good one today on zaihi stream i posted i posted a clip in my discord actually just one discord anyways the uh what should we call it y'all y'all okay so this one i'll give a little bit of context for you had just wrestled your grandmother to the ground zanzi that's the context go uh, i thought we weren't doing context <laughs> i'm dying i'm sorry um <laughs> i'm pretty sure i just have her pinned right now like we're just yelling at each other and i just have her pinned on the ground while we're screaming at each other yep. and arvin is just walking around with like a pot of soup yeah and i've got i've got taking like, the pot like soup from the pot with cups so i'm just mitts. screaming at grandma while she's on the ground <laughs> I've got two oven mitts, and I'm trying to make my way to break this up, but I can't because people keep taking soup from the pot, and I'm like, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you let me go. Grandma, you started this. You have no right to talk. Listen, what voice did I give her last time? You gave her like a country voice. For yeah, some you reason. made her a country. Yeah, grandma. you made her like a southern grandmother. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I I I keep I keep slipping into like a southern accent for all sorts of characters, and I don't know why. Are you from the south? No, but though I know a lot of Kentuckians from college, so yeah, that might have been it. Yeah. Listen, get wait. <clears throat> Needs to, needs to be hung in, in, in gravelly. No, no, not gravelly. No. This sounds like no. toad. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma wow, wow. Into toad. <laughs> okay, speaking of toad, this is completely off topic. Has anyone seen the videos of toad doing karaoke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's wow. amazing and I love it. Well, there's videos of toad singing all kinds of songs. It's like... great. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Chandelier, top tier. Yep. Will's out there like, Santa, I'm your grandma. <laughs> oh, I'd be horrified if that was what my grandmother sounded like. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Let's start, let's start with a high voice and then go. No, no, that's just down again. <laughs> a little lower pitch. All, not, all not voices lead back to Toad. Just give her a smoker voice. <laughs> Yeah, hey, God, audience. Give God, give hey, audience. Hey, audience, me a grandma. <laughs> Come give grandma a smooch. <laughs> oh, Come crap, on, I forgot about Helga. Okay. Grandma, what a deep <laughs> voice you have. <laughs> have that thing. Come on, Zenzi. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, 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 Sam,
Nancy, get off! Nancy, get off! Nancy, get off my! Get off! Get off my! Get off my chest right now! <laughs> this is the voice that we're going with. All right, this is a little bit more. This is probably a little bit more like what we had last week. <laughs> I think the rose is dying. <laughs> Over there, right as long as she dies in German. <laughs> I'm like this far from laughing myself into a migraine. <laughs> so if you want to keep me, you need to stop. Right, everyone, ever take deep breath. This is fine. Oh gosh. Go on. <laughs> but, but what was what was happening? I don't remember. <laughs> Get off! Get off on top of me! You started this. This I... is what you get. Where'd that bat creature go? The bat creature's not after my money, is he? This the old way. Da, da, da. You wanted to settle this the old way, so we settled it the old way, and now you're mad because I beat you. You know what? I don't need I don't need to hear your sass right now, alright? I, I I don't need to hear your old voice right now! <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for me and the life of my daughter, you wouldn't be here right now, so you get off me if you have any respect. You act like you have some respect for me. Are you saying I don't? Well do you? I I'd say so. You're my, you're my favorite so far. The other I, ones are useless. I, I come up with the pot of soup and I'm like, to be fair, I was the one she was accusing of stealing her money. Abbott, shut up. You have no part of this. Yeah, are you armpit. That I am your favorite. Why, why are you referring to him as armpit? Just answer the question. Are you saying that I am your favorite? I will not confirm nor deny that, but... Well, you know, then you are not getting off the ground! I I do, I... I mm, listen. Nine. I don't have... I don't have... Nine. I don't have to Nine. say... You will say... You. We both know that it is true! We both know that I am the favorite because I'm the only one that come to see you and deal with you! So we both know that it is true! Oh, the other ones are useless, absolutely! Well, then... Why... Why you not say? Cause I shouldn't have to in order for you to get in order for you to be respectful yeah, of me. But I, want I want you, you to, to show your respect for me first. That is that is the thing that I want you to. I existed That's first, the therefore you should show me respect first. Man, first, your grandma's not. a Karen. <laughs> is that her name, Karen? <laughs> Nine. No, we actually came up with her name off stream. We came up with her name, yeah. <laughs> I don't you remember. may have existed first, but you're going to die first. And then I won't have any memories of you. And I want one of the memories is to you to admit that I am the favorite grandchild. And the most useful. Aren't you the only? <laughs> I, 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 the only one that is alive, which is why I'm the most useful. Because they're not <laughs> dead. Because they're all stupid. Dead bodies are not useful, apparently. <laughs> And I am a little stupid, but not as stupid guess. as the others because I live this long, so you know, it's, it's, it's a give and take. And just admit that I am the favorite! <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen! Is the Helga over yet, my daughters? Unhinged she, today. She is Very. going to um, roll to roll you off. I still think it'd have been funnier to have her have one of those like things in order to talk. Oh, man. Hold on. A Shika speaker. Roll <laughs> athletics. <laughs> or combat. What is it called? I forget. <laughs> Ancient it... Shika technology allows her to speak it... using a little but thing. Agility asks, what, which one? Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, no. Is it agility? No. Combat. Very first one. <laughs> You're staying on the ground, Grandma! 
that was a crit. Another, that's a crit again. What, what? the heck? <laughs> what <Where> was it? <laughs> I think last time you won because really because Grandma rolled snake eyes, but in this case, no, she crit last. No, time. I won because I rolled two crits. Yeah. I rolled two crits last time. I rolled she a did. crit to lie to get into the city, and then I rolled a crit to flip Grandma on the ground. She did. I remember it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's what I won. That's Why right. Can't you All do right. That in boss fights. Listen, I don't control yeah, the game. Yeah, what happens during combat? You start rolling like. <laughs> like crap, every time we're going to fight, we're, 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 we're Listen, the I love Grandma, and I respect her, but I'm not gonna say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> she knows I mean, it, just, and I know it. Okay, that's all that matters. Too late. And I think she's in the same boat there. Look, Lance, Lance, a young child. You need. Hmm? Uh, she she like tries she like tries to like she just no she just straight up can't move. You have her so pinned down. Uh, I'm I'm gonna make it worse and I'm gonna just sit on her, like not enough to like break her back or anything, but just enough so that she really can't move. I'm gonna yeah. just sit on her. Kara, you are 100% on the point on the nose there. Yes, she's just a, a, a Sundre. I am not. Yes, oh, yeah, you are. You are. I am that yes, you are. Nice. IRL <laughs> and in game. I will fight all of you. I will hunt IRL you all down and, and in game. You. <laughs> 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 all right, time to cut over. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, that's a good point. Yeah, cut over too. <laughs> Y'all are the worst. Now you just get to see my Bulbasaur pants. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> Alrighty. So, kind of. So, um, staring contest. What would that be oh, for no. the role? Probably discipline. Endurance. Discipline. Roll discipline. Oh. Well, that's gonna be horrible. Lower I... than a nine. Lower than a nine. Let's go. Didn't think so. She had literally a plus one. Wait. What, would, what did you have? A plus two? Yeah. Well, still pretty bad. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, she she um she holds out longer than you. Um, do, wait, does Rova actually use the uh, the 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 tears? <laughs> no, I'm saving them for okay. an opportune moment. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah. So so so. Uh, yeah. She just she just beats you out. Your eyes start to get dry, and uh, and it feel it feel it feels like your eyes are 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 becoming the um, you know Death Mountain with just how um, dry and hot they're becoming as the uh, as the uh, hot desert sun beats down on you both, and uh, you 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 give in first, unfortunately, compared to the 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 queen, and uh, yeah, that's that's how it goes. I will not take this as my last. I refuse. I challenge her to a deadlift contest, and we're gonna go <laughs> deadlift sand seals. Wasn't that technically what the shot put was? No, that was throwing them. <laughs> Where are, are the sand seals like dead at this point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so or much animal abuse going on. Me. I. Ugh. We can get more. <laughs> <laughs> they're all over the desert. It's fine. <laughs> right oh, now, yeah. they're probably all over the town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> some conscious, some not. <laughs> they're all alive, though. <laughs> oh, some are napping. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. <laughs> By the way, how much damage have she and I done to the city so far? <laughs> In terms of damage to the city, I don't think that there would be that much. I, it's more so like damage to individual people's property, if anything. Um, <laughs> like, I don't think that the streets are... Well, I... Hmm. 
you there might be some crack some extra some extra cracked pavement here and there and some various spots i think that's the most that you've done to this to like the more public areas um and probably also some like uh you know what i would say there's probably a, a lot of landscaping that y'all have been very disrespectful of for sure Everybody just up. hates me now. <laughs> I'm going to step up between them, and I'm just going to kind of look at them and say, look around you. <laughs> Haven't you guys had enough? Who been at this for hours. Hmm? Who are you, little girl? Oh, my my name is, uh, what was the name? Robin. That's my name. Okay, Raven, get out of the way. Look at, look at all the stuff you're destroying. These are people's homes, and for what? The, uh, the, 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 by currently intoxicated Empress, uh, put, puts her arm around, around Robin, and, um, and, 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 and bottle in the other hands, and, and, like, kind of sloshes a little bit on, on, on your shirt. <laughs> listen. This is a, uh, this is official empress business. You wouldn't under understand since you're a Hylian, and so I don't blame you. Um, it's it's like she's so drunk though that she can see through the disguise. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> so uh, anyway, why why don't you uh just uh, pat pat you on the back very hard? Just uh move move move. Mosey on, a, on, a, on a long. Thank you for, uh, for for visiting and uh, have a here have a souvenir. Ha hands you a bottle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love how at the same time the Pokemon thing went off. Yeah, Weedle and chat. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my. Oh my I'm god! Gonna use, I'm right. gonna use my bucket rune, and I'm going to get rid of my child's tears on her, um, and then I'm going to bucket uh, all the contents of this bottle that she gave me. You're gonna dump a bucket of child's tears on the Empress. Yes, I mean she just she just dumped some alcohol on me. <laughs> so. As soon as I've seen that happen, I know immediately that this oh, is wrong. Oh, yes. That... <laughs> I, am so, I am so going to call you out <laughs> in the middle of this with everybody around. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they're going to believe a drunk Goron being like, that's a, that's a Zora. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you only had enough in that bucket to like sprinkle her. Oh yeah, no, it's like a little sprinkle. Yeah. Oh, is it raining? What? Oh, we better go inside. Wait. No, it's not raining. Yeah, you better go inside. Wait. Why would it be wait? No, this is a desert. We need to finish deadlifting sand seals. Yes. I think you've done enough deadlifting, Mr. Goron, <laughs> that I've never met before. Wasn't there a reason that you came here, Mr. No. Goron, that I've never met before that she... you should be getting back to? The Empress runs up, puts like both ha like a hand on each shoulder of the Goron, and it's like, we should lift the dead. <laughs> Kogoro, in response, puts his two massive hands on her shoulders. Genius idea. <laughs> At this, go point, find a bunch of at this point, the stewardess comes up and is like, under no circumstances will I tolerate that kind of thing. I <laughs> out stewardess. And <laughs> Who are you to tell me what to do? Five <laughs> minutes. We are so intoxicated. Y'all are gone. <laughs> Does that make this no longer rated G? Yes. <laughs> this is uh, definitely well, PG-13. <laughs> it's grape juice, guys. It's fine. They're just on a sugar high. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's spicy grape juice. It's spicy grape juice. It's okay. They're just on a sugar high. It's okay. Go on spice grape juice. <laughs> there's, there's 
there's plenty of anime movies well. that are rated G that have people <laughs> consuming alcohol. Yeah. As long as, long as it's adults not... doing it, yeah. Remember, kids, don't drink unless you are of your legal age in your area. There you go. And don't be deadlifting seals. Yeah. <laughs> or fighting your grandma. And don't pour child's <laughs> tears on a queen. No, you can, you, you can, you can do that. Yeah, that's oh, well. totally acceptable. <laughs> Fair enough. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. So, um, the um, the the yeah, the stewardess comes up and is like, "What? What? Weren't they supposed to be prisoners?" And then the empress is like. Uh, it's it's okay because they're fun. Look, look, we're we're not hurting any. What have we hurt? Um, uh, <laughs> I think we might have made that building uh, upset, but I think that's about it. Yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, she, she uh, the the stewardess just like grabs the grabs the empress by the ponytail. And is like, nope, come with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Does that mean I win by default? Yeah, you won. Congratulations. I go pack. Yeah, you win that. a trip to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> as soon as they say that, I'm just gonna like slowly back away. I've never met this man before in my life. Uh, Zelda chimes in. Wait, Empress, we. But uh, um, and and the um, the the stewardess stops dragging the Empress along. And the Empress just kind of like you know just kind of collects herself. We. We need we need you in order to be able to get into the spirit temple. And well, well, you, it's I know that I know that you don't actually like Ganaramus's plans. That man is nothing like the man that you and I used to know, and you know that. This is something something else is happening and you and I I know that you don't have your family anymore. I know that you've lost a lot. But you still have me. And you still have Everyone, everyone else around you here in Gerudo too. Yeah, like me. You, who? Oh. Hi, I'm Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Great time to speak up. <laughs> no, okay. I, just, I, I turn around. The one Awkwardly. Hylian woman in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh... Um, the Empress. Then don't lock them up, then. But I'm just let them go. And she and she and she and she like um, just starts walking back towards the towards the. Um, what do you call the place that an Empress lives? Palace. 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 Thank you. <laughs> this is the second time you passed. I know. Real it's a castle thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you guys do? I go, I go give the Empress a pat on the shoulder and I tell her, you may have won the fight, but I will win the war. <laughs> Goro, war is what we're trying to prevent, remember? Yeah, by, by me winning it. <laughs> <laughs> also, who are you, little girl? <laughs> He's still really out of it. <laughs> He's still so okay, out. big guy. I think it's time for you to get go to bed. Okay, and start leading him away. 
Hey, 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 hey. You you won the war. It's, it's okay. <laughs> if you want if you want to win next time, you got to get some good rest, right? It's, it's sleepy time. I lean down and whisper into her ear, and I'm like, I know it is you, little fish girl. <laughs> but I know you, a, want yeah. to, you want to keep a little secret. <laughs> yeah. Does he think I'm doing good too? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm a fish girl, sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's go to bed, fake guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a fish. <laughs> Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I appreciate that very much. Okay. I go Let's past go to bed at the now. bottom of the stairs. <laughs> just the bottom of the stairs. I just yeah. look back at anyone else who's still there and just like shake my head. <sighs> Gorons, am I right? Yeah, he just passes out at the very bottom of the stairs. <laughs> he's he's completely blocking people's way. I mean, well, I'm like gonna go check on. Um, I'm gonna go check on the rest of my party members since he's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be fine. I'm I'm still arguing with Grandma, trying to convince her to say that I'm her her favorite grandchild, even though I'm the only one left living. Yeah. Um, I do I do want to want to let this uh this Empress play out a bit more. So, because I wanted to reach a resolution. So, oh, I'm the only one there, but yes. <laughs> and and the Goron. He's passed out, but yes. Um, and yeah, so, so yeah. Zelda chimes in, um, saying, Empress Vasha, listen. And then the Empress stops, turns around, annoyed. If you have any respect for the years that we've had, if you don't think that you and I even considered family you really have lost it oh snap <laughs> I don't want to lose you I don't think you want to lose me either so please open the temple for us that's all we need have her roll her uh Oh dang! Dang! Oh, <laughs> six and a five. Almost, oh. Not not quite a crit. Yeah, but... that's pretty high. Dang, that's close. Man, yeah. if only she crit. <laughs> well, that's that's a relief. Yeah. Watch, oh, she gets a fifteen. Imagine if it was stay, guys. <laughs> Execute them all. Execute them all. <laughs> <laughs> Except the Goron. <laughs> Oh no. There's something wasn't... special planned for him. <laughs> <laughs> More drinking contests. Yep. <laughs> drinking contests to the death. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> Jake gets just slaps an air tag. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um not a bad idea. <laughs> the em the Empress starts um like um, just kind of straightens up and us uh, and uh, starts walking down the steps back towards the rest of the rest of you guys and there's a crowd there's a crowd watching all of this unfold too and everyone is just dead silent w wondering what's what's happened anticipation has just washed over the crowd as she as she as she steps down the the the, the few steps leading down onto the courtyard she comes I up to also while that's happening i eventually show up out of nowhere completely awake eating a drumstick <laughs> where i got it nobody knows you do so it's just it's just dead silent 
except for Goro eating a drumstick and then just the screams of Grandma and I in the background not too far off because we have no idea what else is going on. Yeah, it's it's dead silent. Goro doesn't get this at all. He's completely awake now and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> the Empress puts an arm on the princess's shoulder. Listen. How far away is the temple? Um Isn't that Isn't that something you should know? I don't know, I've not been to it. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> the um the the stewardess um speaks up. It's a it's about uh fifteen minutes by sand seal. Oh fifteen nothing now. Yeah, I can spare that. Thank you. Um, and, and the two hug. Cutting back over to, uh, um, in direct <laughs> contrast, a very, you could call it a hug. I wouldn't, it's but someone hug. could. It's not a hug. I am sitting directly on grandma, yelling at her to tell me I am her favorite grandchild. No, oh, jeez. What's Arbit doing? Arbit is now standing over them, holding the pot of soup. And he's just biting his tongue because Zanzi's mean to him. <laughs> Zanzi isn't that mean. She's not mean. It's fine. I'll just bite you a little bit. Soon, Dre. Mm. Anyways. Get all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll influence. Oh gosh, okay. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> There's no way! That's a nope. Um, Dang it. <laughs> oh well, you tried. <laughs> Thank I you for that, it, Jenkins. I saw it, um. Uh, Zelda's <laughs> roll, that's why I was confused. Ah, uh, yeah, no. You did not roll that well. Your luck ran yeah, out. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way it would give it to me twice. None. Yeah, no. Also, why does it keep scrolling up? Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so she, so she, um, so the grand, so the grandma is like, you know, you know that I don't have to do anything for that kind of. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to say it out loud. You already know and it. I shouldn't have to do anything for you, yet here I am gathering herbs and attempting to get rubies for you until I was essentially kidnapped. So. What do you want me to say to you? That I love you or something? Because guess what? I love you. Now get off. You love me, Grandma? <laughs> and she uses this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Don't roll off. <laughs> uh, to oh, that's that's pretty decent. Um, uh, roll since roll um with disadvantage your combat. So roll twice and take the Lord. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> she uses this opportunity. To get through your defenses and let her... Was that a... Oh, that almost was a crit. What? No, not quite. A half crit. <laughs> um, um, oh, you... And that was an almost... That was an almost snake eye. I know. I know it was. Oh, my goodness. That's been funny. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love you to get off. Yep. Um... <laughs> And and she uses it as as a chance to like kind of like um, roll you off 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 of her to where she is she is now on top um, and she and she and she um, 
But then she rolls too hard, and now you're just both on the ground. So she just kind of rolls over you. <laughs> and I just like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, my back. Oh, don't... Don't get me up. My back. Nobody touch her. Nobody I draw. I drop the pot of soup Do and I not up. touch her, Arbit. <laughs> drop that. I will that eat soup. the rest of the soup, drop and you soup. will She's... not like what happens. She's hurt. Why are you doing Do not... this? I will eat the rest of the soup, and whatever happens will be happening to you. You can Do not eat... touch her. You can. You can eat soup and hurt me Do as not... much as makes you feel better. I'm. I'm gonna take out my sword and just go. Do not touch her. <laughs> You can hurt me as much as it makes you feel better. And then I help the grandma up. Oh, uh, oh, what what a kind young uh, lass. Yeah, whatever gets me into town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or oh, I guess, course. I guess since she's grew, she wouldn't say lass. Uh, what, oh, what's the word? For female and oh. Gerudo. Oh. Bo and Vi. Uh, no. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's Bo. Vo is woman? Uh, let me so. see. I thought it was Vi. I... Yeah, I is it? Vi. Let me see. Oh, maybe it is. They say I no confuse Vos them allowed. all the time, so I have no idea. I think uh, there's one for married Vi. women and one for unmarried women. Guys, okay. Vi. Girls are Vi. Vi. Girls are Vi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and no, there isn't a word for married women. <laughs> you tried. You tried. Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Thank you, Alex. Speaking of Bowie's man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then immediately with the don't forget your daily hat. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, so, so, um, um, at, upon upon gain upon gaining re upness, the grandma uh, will immediately come uh, will will immediately come and just try to rest wrestle again. Okay, we're going again. Let's do it. <laughs> Full combat. Uh, I did not roll very well. Ah. <laughs> she come. She comes at you. <laughs> um. She she comes she comes at you and um like just kind of like but then she kind of like stumbles um a little bit as as she as as she does so and um. Though you are ready for 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 her, she like um, through stumbling just kind of misses, <laughs> and uh, and it, and it, it ends up just kind of like um like what like landing on the floor next to you. Oh, oh! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look down at her. You armpit, armpit. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm just. I'm just gonna help her up this time before he even gets there and just slap his hand away and just help her up. <laughs> just gonna look at her. Do you wanna try again? <laughs> Let me get some more of that soup first. And no! <laughs> the soup is decidedly empty as everyone else took it. <laughs> Who is everyone? There's three people! What? What? You said we had a crowd. What? Yeah, there's two. Last time we said there was two crowds. There's a crowd around the Empress and Goro, and then there was a crowd around us. Yeah. And people were just house? like taking soup from the pot. Yeah. Oh, I did not remember this at all. Okay. We literally talked about it at the beginning of stream. Uh, well, clearly he didn't remember. No, I don't remember. It's fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 the case. Um. Um, she, so she, 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 she takes a ladle and bonks Arvid on the head. You should have made more soup then. 
Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, Arbit, you should have made more soup. Scatter! Shoo! This is not- this is- this is- this is family business! I'm your granddaughter! I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the- to the, to the rest of them! You stay oh, I here! I was about to say! <laughs> no, you stay here! Again. And you stay here and make me some more soup! So I can take her on! Okay, and I go back to the kitchen to make more soup. Grandma, just just admit, this is the first time I have beat you in my entire life, and you still refuse to admit it. It's because I was on an empty stomach. You are literally cheating. You're using a soup. Well, how is that cheating? You had the same soup. No, I <laughs> didn't, Grandma. I didn't have any of the soup. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you. I have your only living grandchild, the only one who's still here, because I wasn't stupid enough to die. That should be good enough for you already. But no, I come back to check on you, get you Hylian herbs, get you rubies because you don't know how to make a bet properly, get myself kidnapped, and still come back to see you and put up with your crap. And you know what? You did a good job. Like a you problem. Do better. <laughs> you do better! Clean up your house! Sounds Quit like messing it up problem. every time I leave! <laughs> Listen, I don't like the way you put things. Oh, I don't like where you put things either. Where are your glasses, Grandma? They're... In the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> the house that I just cleaned. And did not see them at all. Want to know why? Because you probably hit him with the rubies that you hit last time. And want to know where those hey, are? Don't talk Rehit about it. those. Don't talk. No. Armpit, cover your ears. Grandma, <laughs> he's 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 dumber than a box of rocks. He's, he's not going to happen. Not going to remember this conversation in two minutes. Okay. You'll be fine. So will your rupees. Your rupees will be fine. I know. I don't know. I don't know this. This uh, bad creature thing. Or sorry, I guess I guess this key creature thing. But I do trust me. It's not gonna remember in two minutes. Hey, come on, that's mean. Why is it mean <laughs> to me and your grandma? I get me, but your grandma? You only got one of those or two of those. But right now, there's only one here. Arvid. I, I wish my grandma was still here. Arvid. Is this your grandma? No, but. Is is this your relationship with your grandma? No. Did you see how Grandma raised me? No. Well, then shut up. Okay. How do you and know this isn't a loving relationship? Arbit, Arbit sulks off to the kitchen to make soup. That's what I thought. <laughs> Grandma, where are your glasses? They are in... Where'd they go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the point. I know where everything else <laughs> is. All right? Really? Really? I know where my rupees are. Yeah, you always know where your rupees are, and you hide them every time. And you act like I can't find them. Because I know you. I know your hiding place. You're not supposed to. Or have you been snooping on me? I am your me? granddaughter! Of course I'm gonna know! I lived with you for how long? That means you've been snooping on me for that long, too. That means that you're just not smart enough to hide it in a place where I can't find it. Listen, if you, if you want to talk about intelligence. Never Grandma. mind. Grandma. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Grandma, you were one of the top warriors in, in the army. You raised me the same way. You cannot sit here and not expect me to know you well enough to know your tricks. Because you raised me with them and taught me them. And why didn't you go become a guard? Why did you have to go sneak off and do all those all those adventure things instead? I mean, she's got a point. You're not even in the conversation. Shut up, Viridian. <laughs> You're on the, the other end. Shut up. Off in the distance, you hear a slight echo. Just... She has a point. Shut up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, I tried to be a guard, okay? I really did. I did my best. 
<laughs> clearly it wasn't good enough. Well, clearly it wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me think that you didn't even try. I did try! <laughs> Grandma, oh, getting in the army now is not like how it was when you were younger. Do you know how hard it is to get in the army now? Oh, it can't be that hard. All you need, to, all you need is to know someone. Grandma, they didn't let me in and I know you. You raised me. I, well. Do you well, know that... how many times I took that test, Grandma? How many you know how times? Many hours I practice. I took that test seven times, Grandma. Mm-hmm. Seven times too few. <laughs> I. Okay, Grandma. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna look. Just like. <laughs> she doesn't even go here. Touch her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just saw that in the chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I can't breathe. Okay. Um, <laughs> Grandma, it's not as simple as it was when you took the test. <laughs> not Grandma's fault, you too unsmart that you needed to take it seven times. Hey, hey, okay. <laughs> True story about me. I don't think you understand, Jenkins. To get into the university that I currently got into, it took me seven applications. And that was with a good GPA. <laughs> so, um, don't come Dang. at me. <laughs> Dang. You should have tried harder to get in the first time. <laughs> okay. Grandma, <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> All right. Um, Listen. I'm 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 proud of you for putting in the effort. All right. But are you grandma? Are you really? <laughs> All we see are <laughs> just eyes. Yeah, yes, I'm staying down here because I can't get back up. But you gotta understand, I I haven't seen any fruits of your labor. Because <laughs> yeah, you haven't tried to see the fruits of my labor. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, help me try. What? Grandma, have you even asked me what I've learned being an adventurer instead of being a warrior? Oh, yeah? Go on. I had a whole spiel planned out and it has just left my head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Insert speech here. <laughs> Speech.exe is not working. <laughs> Speech.exe has crashed. Would you like to report this issue? Yes. <laughs> I had a Full whole screen. spiel. Not even joking. I had a whole spiel. I looked at the fan on my desk and went, that's shiny. And now it's gone. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's gone. Way to go. <laughs> All righty, go. Um. Arvid, where's the soup? <laughs> <laughs> Arvid comes out with soup. Do you even have the ingredients to make more soup? <laughs> I just used what I found. What'd you find? It is. Uh, I don't know. Whatever's in Surely. Grandma's house. Surely okay, grandma has some basic Okay, the grandma grandma would have some like some basic stuff like you know, just yeah, mushroom, stuff, but nothing that yeah. has any effects. I could still make it good because I I my cooking ability means I can use five ingredients because apparently the number of ingredients you use is limited by your ability to cook. So, it's still better. Yeah. All right, Radian. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Got. Oh, great. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. 
The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that. <laughs> I forgot I had that in row twenty. <laughs> what? Anyways, go on. Amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, thanks. Um, well, half the people in this room are mad at me, and the other half only like me because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus. So that's not good. To all the people whose feelings got hurt by the burn book, I'm really sorry. You know, I've never been to one of these things before, and when I think about how many people wanted this and how many people cried over it and stuff, I mean, I think everybody looks great tonight. Look at Jessica Lopez. That dress is amazing. <laughs> there you go. The Fitness Grand Pacer Test is a multi-stage <laughs> aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult no! as it continues. So we've got Verid Viridian reading the Mean Girls script now. <laughs> Clearly. Just start having flashbacks, just rock back and forth. <laughs> oh, we were too poor for that at my school district, so we just lined up and got timed while shooting basketball hoops oh, the, and the doing sit-ups. Fitness gram test. Yeah, we couldn't afford that. <laughs> yeah, my school do that. didn't play the recording either. We just like, I, I guess the the teacher just had what we had to do memorized. Just like, okay, do this, do this, do that. All right, let's go pull ups. There we go. Yeah, no, you didn't. Um, you don't want to do the one we did because we also we had to do a ton of stuff. And the problem was the teacher would just tell you to go. They'd just be like, "Go," and they start timing you, and they would grade you on how you improved. The yeah. problem was you couldn't improve if the person in front of you had the only basketball, and you were stuck behind them, and the person timing you was just like, "I'm not stopping it." <laughs> basketball. Yeah, the, there was basketball was a part of it. It was like an obstacle course is what they called it. I don't remember how to do that. All I remember, well, because it, it wasn't the fitness grand pacer test. It was the country bear jamboree test. <laughs> 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 they had, at the end, they had a had a poll. You could either do a, like a somersault over or crawl under. And I watched this one kid, like someone was like, I bet you can't do the somersault. He's like, I bet I can. And I want you, I want to be honest. This kid was probably like six foot four. It was like a, it was like a tree fell. I mean, it like echoed. It like sounded like it hurt. And I was like, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> he just fell. He forgot to flip. Alrighty. Andre, welcome in. Congrats on your hat. Yeah, there's a, there's a free, uh, free story for, for y'all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, so. The, um, at this point, the Empress Zelda, the, the Hylian from before, and, um, uh, and, 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 uh, you know, Boron. Walk into a bar. He's eating a chicken leg. What? He's still eating the chicken leg. He's still eating the chicken leg. Walks into the uh, walks into the um, the house. Um. It's uh I well well this is assuming that Rova would have led the way. Would you have? Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I was just realizing how would they know that they're there, and it's like I guess Rova's with. Them. Anyways, Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, anyways, the um. Uh. So yeah, y'all y'all come up and um and uh blah blah blah. What um uh, yeah. <laughs> um Zelda comes in and is like, what's going on here? Don't worry about it. This is between me and Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> I think it's just killing her Grandma. Up. I am not <laughs> killing my grandma! And when I say anything about it, she's mean to me again. Arbit, shut up. See? Isn't that what she does all the time? <laughs> Get mad at <laughs> you. Shut up! So it's not between y'all, it's between grandma and I. Go away! I think this has gone on long enough, random Gerudo who I've never met before. Who are you? This is uh, Ro- This is worry, uh, I'm Robin. Girl. 
That's it's me. little fishy. Oh, hey, Grandma, girl. Robin's back. She's oh, gonna get that... rupees. Oh, someone's here to rob me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Robin would imply that it's currently happening. She like starts to like <laughs> step, like it, it. She like puts her body between the group and the like potted plant. That's like you know, Fancy knows what why why she's in front of that potted plant. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there and just start like rubbing my head and just be like, you make it so obvious. Just. <laughs> we got more important things to do. How do you know me? Who are you? Uh, this Goron told me. No, it's this little fish girl. Yeah, sure, you? sure, sure, big Goron. Go Go Goro's all sad now because he thinks Zanzi forgot who he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, here's the thing. I have no idea if we're actually like accepted and because Goro is there I can't see the Empress nearby so I'm just like pretending I still have no idea who they are <laughs> alrighty um the Empress, the Empress chimes in is like oh, I want to hurry up I'm starting I'm starting to get sleepy who is that the Empress she and I are friends now. Oh, okay, cool. Grandma, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Hold on. Where do you think you're going? Uh, <laughs> Grandma, do you need something else before I go? You gotta give me a hug. Come here, darling. <laughs> you, went to, to, you want me to give you a hug in front of them? Would you rat? What do you want me to like go and grab some curtains or something first? Do you want? Is that you what never you want? let me hug you in front of people. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not like I'm asking you to kiss me. I mean, do you want to kiss grandma? I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> not the point. Oh, so you want to kiss? Okay, I'm gonna hug her and kiss her on the cheek. <laughs> I take a picture with my Sheikah Slater. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, glare at him. Delete that picture right now. What picture? Grandma! Grandma, can I have a hug too, Grandma? <laughs> the grandma comes up to 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 the little to the little uh the little fur ball and kind of pats on the head. Yay. You did a good job today. Yay. It's okay, Arbit. I'll give you a... I go up and I hug Arbit. Who are you? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's not what matters right now. Stranger danger. Stranger I just danger. saw someone in need of a hug. That's hey, Grandma, do you need anything else? Yeah, I am. <laughs> who, who, who what? Propositions his players? What do you mean by that? Anyways, uh -huh. um, oh, oh yes. Um, well, while you're out, can you can you grab me some some uh some high some more Hylian herbs and oh and 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 some of some some more of that uh what what was the ingredient you put in there now um armpit? I don't remember. Out of out of character, I Go straight up spice, do I not think. remember. No, because it was something with energetic in it. Yeah. yeah, you you bought all of my Goron spices. No, it wasn't yeah. the spice I put in it. I wouldn't have wasted that on Grandma Slop. <laughs> so it was something with energetic. Grandma so she won't know. Slop. <laughs> we'll say energizing mushroom or something. I will sure. end you for offending my grandma. <laughs> yeah, I just told you not to kill your grandma. Yeah, go grab the energizing thing. Yeah. Grandma wants monster. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> wants a monster energy drink. <laughs> Grandma wants her venom energy drink right now. <laughs> Yo, you could start a new business. You could. With you, and you with Kurt Goro's entrepreneurship business. skills. Grandma energy. Grandma energy. Heck yeah. G gaming grandma energy. 
so so it's 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 Gma Home Shizzle Energy because that's the name that I gave Will at first for Grandma. Gma Home Shizzle Energy. It was Gma Home Shizzle. Because he messaged me and just said name the Grandma, so I just messaged back Gma Home Shizzle. <laughs> We did come up with an actual name, which, for the record, is um, Grandma Samira. Yes. Yeah. But anyways, yes. um, not not that any of you took the time to learn her name. Nope. Listen, she's Grandma. Me. Why would I ask Grandma her name? Yeah. Her name is Grandma. What? Yeah, clearly. Uh, yeah. Also, also, random question. Am I friends now with the Empress? Because if I am, I'm going to put that in my bio. <laughs> I, would say, I, I, would, I would say so. Definitely drinking buddies, which, yeah, that's friendship. Heck yeah, yeah, same thing. It's the same Heck thing. Yeah, I'm putting that in my bio. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alrighty. So, the, um, the rest of you, I guess, will be, uh, yeah, take... Uh, do you, uh, um, anything else that you do with Grandma before you leave? What's the Empress's name again? I'm Vasha. Vasha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and give her a hug that's just a little bit too long just to take her off. And then just be like, love you, bye! And then just walk away! <laughs> just cause I can't leave it lovey-dovey. That's not how Grandma and I work. <laughs> you there gotta go. tick each other off when you leave. All right, so I'll, 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 as long as you come back with what I with what I ordered, I'll think about it. Bye. And don't come back five months from now. I expect I expect a timely result. No promises. Bye. <laughs> We're never coming back here. You're never coming back here. Yeah, I'll be coming back here. The Empress and I need to get more drinks later. I, I mean, I don't specifically, this specific grandma has. <laughs> The uh, the Empress hearing that um, just ha hands hands you uh, hands you her bottle. My wait. Cheers. <laughs> I'm just gonna look over, girl. Can I have some? <laughs> just like desperate after what I just went through. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my bucket to scoop all the alcohol out of his bottle. We don't have time for this right now. You already now. have alcohol in your bucket yet. Okay, I, I dumped I dumped that one on the ground and then I scoop this one. <laughs> okay. Oh I don't notice that <laughs> that uh, Grovile did that, so I passed the bottle off to Zanzi. <laughs> It's just an empty bottle. Yeah, it's like, an empty glass bottle. What is this? Wow, Arvin looks over the bottle. He's so much. Oh. Looks like cooking wine. <laughs> We've like, been drinking Do you hate wine? me that much? <laughs> but there was alcohol in it. But there's not now. You, you hear? You well, hear? I don't know uh, where you, you went. You hear in the background, who took my cooking wine? I'm gonna throw the, <laughs> give him back the bottle and then just walk. <laughs> the Empress <laughs> apparently. <laughs> That's why she thinks people steal from her because the Empress walks into her house and takes a bottle of cooking sherry and walks <laughs> honestly, away. <laughs> honestly, I would not be surprised because I'm sure like, that grandma woo! has walked through the palace and stolen something too. She would do that. I thought it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's the royal wine. She's gonna be grandma's one of those people that like can make friends with anybody despite being a senile old bat, but then just thinks that because she's friends with them, she could just walk into their house and take whatever she wants. She steals all the royal wine. Yeah. Yep, and the Empress just lets her because she's just like, Yeah, it's another drinking buddy. <laughs> she and Gyra doesn't get along very well in that regard. Yes. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> That's why the Empress goes back to her house to take it back. <laughs> yes, that's how it works, Jacobs. Yes, right. Oh, so this correct. is no exactly worry. how it works. Yeah. Alrighty. So, <laughs> you guys start heading to the temple. Palm, do you want... Do you, should we save it for next week, Palm? What do you think? 
Save what? We're only an hour and a half into this. No, that's four why. Hour that's long why. Lecture. Because this, this, this also just depends. Yeah, Palm. Do you want? What do? You, what are your thoughts? Because they're about to head. Yes. I'm. I'm at. No. I'm. No. I'm not talking about the temple in general. I'm talking about the specific part of the temple. <sighs> We're going to the temple. Okay. I didn't want you to say that, but okay. Um. Uh oh. Anyways, uh -oh. ignore that. Ignore that. Can you delete that from chat? You can. Um. We'll get. We'll get. We'll, we'll get. We'll get to that. Just. Just get. Just get in costume. Oh. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. What are you on about? Come on. Oh, you think you're gonna get away with just doing a Discord call or something, don't you, Paul? Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um. So. The Desert Temple. Yeah. Um, Ooh, desert, a lot of sand. <laughs> so really Forest. what she that's brings you to is not a temple at all. Um, here, let okay. me, let me actually get, um, let, let, let me change the music here. Um, it's just a patch of dirt. Uh, sand, but you know, same difference. Yeah, same thing. So she leads you guys kind of towards the mountains which um really like it's a lot it's very craggy it's just like a lot of sheer cliffs um and so she kind of like leads you um down a crevasse um that goes into the mountain range a bit and um as and and as you guys do so it kind of like opens up into this very large um, kind of like it, and you're completely encircled by cliff walls um and and it's um oddly cir oddly um circular like unnaturally so but there's no specific signs of it of the walls having been carved to be circular it's somehow naturally that way but it doesn't feel natural because it's way too perfectly circular um in the middle is a um is is just a like gazebo essentially that's that's uh so so it has so it has it's 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 also round and it has and it has a round <laughs> how neat is that oh it's that's so pretty neat. neat that was very neat thank you for interrupting my answer um anyways <laughs> you're welcome um <laughs> okay so you so you come in and the um um and 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 the um and the empress tells you sit sit down on the uh sit sit down on the benches in in, in, in over, over in there all right I don't trust it <laughs> I'm drinking I money do it. with the empress now so I'm going over there I love sitting <laughs> I'm gonna like cautiously sit down because I don't trust it. <laughs> I'll sit down. The um the gazebo has on top of it a very large metal rod. The metal rod, um, you you do see like the seats are also made of metal, and there's some wire that goes from the rod to the seats. You sit down, and the Empress takes out um, this, like, kind of a scythe-ish, like, um, shaped sword, right? It's a, a crescent-shaped sword, and um, and gets and just starts to like um, get in position and like close her eyes and. And just like shoots up 
and um, and a, a bolt of lightning comes from a very clear sky um, onto her sword, and and then she and then she just kind of like whips the 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 bolt of lightning. Like the moment that the bolt of lightning touches her sword is when is when she just kind of like swings swings her sword like a bat to knock the bolt of lightning towards the top of the gazebo which then causes the whole gazebo to light up blue and and you feel um all of your muscles tense up i am here you are here I'm lemons top. welcome in Hi, I Tom. love you <laughs> <laughs> And I Answer think this is where we will take a five to ten minute break. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Some stuff. How you doing there, Radian? I'm doing okay. Work been good? Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. That's right. No one's. Um, oh, wow. I'm alone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, dang. Lemon's being called out. All righty. Um, I'm actually going to put this on the BRB screen. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> Come here, you. We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. Ah! This works. <laughs> Oh, it's attached to the Korok! <laughs> it's attached to the Korok! <laughs> Yo, that Korok's kind of lit, fam! Alright, I am curious. No, hold on. Stick. Become fused with whatever this is. Yeah! I think that was pointless. Hey. What's up, girl? 5 a.m. Looking for, looking for trouble. Oh my gosh. Hello. How fast can you run? This with fast. him on your back. Starts running. That is great acting. I think he's ten out of ten.
<laughs> that was pathetic. I had every opportunity to not teach kids how to fight. Um, it's now a musical. Catching ball is his real test. I've got to train this thing. What did I just come from? I'm an Evie in the land. Now I've got sweat in my eyes. And thank you, Kara, for, for starting Sing Mode. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. That's, that's all I got. Musical talent. I said I got a stretched larynx. I'm this way, that way, forward, backward, over the Irish Sea. A bottle of coke to soothe my throat, and that's the life for me. But I, uh, uh, All I can say to you guys is... I'm Batman. And thanks. For chaos bestows no sense of reasoning. Oh! No way, adorable! <laughs> Rawr! Extreme nozzles pounces on you. Ooh, you're yourself. so. Oh! Couldn't help but notice your oh! across her floor. Nozzles your wacky wacky till they were till they hee hee. I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for for uh, you know how for chaos table, like you know, I find clips for every uh, streamer that comes in and, and to embarrass them and stuff. That's the clip you pick. I just pick I clip for Burr, and I had to censor out like half of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet you did. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty. righty. That is amazing. You're amazing. Alrighty. Do 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 do. There's a Vulpix in chat. Pokey catch it, Pokey wanted. Woo! Alrighty. Embarrassing clips. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You don't you don't know what those what those are. You don't have any of those, Jenkins. <laughs> This is this is a lie. She has some great karaoke clips. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do something. Ah, it's, it's chill. Show me your snacky. Oh, 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 you're talking to 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 uh, Kieran. I've I've just got pretzels. Don't don't worry about it. Oh, you got to jump off. Oh, thanks for being here, Dan's. Oh, shame because we're about to get into the into a super duper part, which I just realized I need to enable some stuff for. Uh huh. Yes. All righty. Oh, that's right. Later, Jenkins. Oh, bye, Jenkins. Oh, you're heading out, Jenkins? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's a shame. Y'all are about to miss out on the best part. Oh, well. Oh, well. They can rewatch it on the VOD. That's true, but it's, but though it won't be the same. You'll see why. Um. And re-listen to it on Spotify. That's right. Be sure to uh, to 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 uh, leave us a five star review if you are listening as well, because those really help boost the algorithm. Um, if you if you do have any feedback, if you don't think I'm worthy of those five stars, just le just drop me a DM. I do want to hear your feedback. And um, yeah, so and and that's another thing. Also, join the Discord. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Why is it every time I have to do something important, a Vulpix comes? <laughs> every single time! That's beautiful. I want a Vulpix! You actually just dislike everything about this campaign? Writing is poor, you're a co-writer! <laughs> Unimaginative. Dang. 
<laughs> sure, sure. Players are subpar. You're subpar. <laughs> 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 Speaking of our <Martin> match, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dang, I was going to say, but okay. Yes. Hey, I'm the only one who's given my character an interesting accent. <laughs> my character has a condition, okay? It's fine. I'm trying not to be offensive. <laughs> Why is there a ditto on the screen? You got something against dittos or something? I just I just saw the ditto just on the screen. That was Will's confused. ready to bring back the ditto ninjas. Those <laughs> <laughs> yeah. were fun. Immediately slap it. <laughs> Alrighty. So Oh, looks like everyone is back. Good stuff, good stuff. Alrighty. We're about to jump into the um uh so um a whole a whole nother thing and a half. This this should hopefully last another session and a half here. Um and yeah. This is we'll see what we'll You heard see him speed happens. run it. Yep. Y'all know what that means. It means we gotta break it. Yeah, yeah. I, I go find the nearest stairs and I start backwards long jumping up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mashing the A button so hard. <laughs> I wanna I wanna pull up my grappling hook and move forward and then pause and then and then hold very slowly down on the stick and then unpause and then item slide through the wall straight to the end. I want to just reverse momentum, just a giant Goron just jumping backwards <laughs> on the staircase. <laughs> just to see how that goes. <laughs> I want to watch the man slingshot through the walls. <laughs> I don't face through the walls, I just bust through them. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the Kool-Aid man, but worse. <laughs> watch me do all of watch me do this entire session with only half of an A press. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty. So <laughs> each of you end up just um, in, in a completely different like so it you're you're still in a gazebo, but though it is overgrown in fact everything around you is in complete stark contrast to the you know barren kind of desert wastelands that you were just in it's uh the same the same layout you, you still got this you know very overly spherical sphere area um circle i should say um spherical sphere yeah you know yeah of course um geometrically shoveling it says that you're still in Palm. Yeah, I'll give you the yeah, link. Yeah, so they're still here. Yeah. Um, and also, chat is in guest star. There's you didn't have to leave chat. Yeah. Once you join in guest star, chat is like right there. Yeah. Silly Palm. Although she's joining on mobile, so I don't know if that's different. Uh Evie! Evie's here! Welcome in! What up, BB? There's nothing to nope yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something to nope. There's always something to nope. Whatever Will is planning is just nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'll hold on to that nope. How you doing, Evie? It's good to see you in here. Alrighty. And oh here it is. So um, it is you each like you look at each other and each of you, including yourself, are like kind of translucent. Like you can kind of see through each other a bit. What I do you close do? my eyes to see if I can see through my eyelids. <laughs> Hold on. That's valid. I'm that's gonna, actually. I'm going to start like 
try to see if I can like put my hand through my arm like a ghost, just like put it straight through the arm. No, you. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I will say that when you close your eyelids, you can't see anything, but more light is able to pass through your eyelids than nor than than not. So it's not as dark and black as as it normally would be when you close your eyelids. But though you you definitely can't see anything. Aw. That's disappointing. I feel gypped. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for your hat redeem, it should be one of the first ones. Um right? Yeah. Yeah, daily hat. Yeah. Um so the um what do you, yeah, so what do you guys do? I don't know. Ask the is Empress there, where we go. Is there an, is I the think the Empress, the Empress is gone, isn't right? here. No. She, she, the last thing you saw of the Empress was her, you know, just kind of like you, using, a, using a sword as a baseball bat to knock lightning at y'all. So, I'm going to look around and see if Ratani's stupid self is somewhere nearby. <laughs> No, we told her. How'd that she we get into her. this one? Yeah. I'm just gonna immediately start looking around to see if she's here. Cause I'm so sick of her. <laughs> Not only that, but we told her that we were going to Goron Temple next. Yep. We yep, so I don't think she would come here anyways. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, so wait, so we're currently translucent. Yeah. Yep. Where Am I now that we're translucent, does this does this get rid of my disguise by any chance? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, okay, so we're not on the mortal plane, guys. I immediately go to a slight hill or something. Not something that's gonna like drop me like ten feet, but just enough that I can like get off the ground and I'm gonna take a running jump and start trying to fly. <laughs> Uh, Arbit, Arbit's right, right before you do that. He's gonna go. Hey, uh, Goro, how many times did you beat the? Oh! <laughs> and watches you jump off the cliff. As soon as he jumps, I'm gonna reverse momentum on him. You do so. <laughs> I'm flying, Get back here. everybody. You forgot to pretend to pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Have pants, but yes, <laughs> he has pants tights. on though. Don't you have armor? Yeah, yeah, he's got I pants on. I have tights. <laughs> yeah, see, he's fine. Yeah, that um, Zel fitted, Zelda chimes in. I think if I remember, if this is what I think it is, the spirit temple is really just. I guess this is just the spirit realm, really. Can we fly? Are we dead? I... Def de it depends on how you define dead. Because I'm pretty- technicality, if we're spirits, wouldn't that mean that we're dead? Well, our we're spirits- We're separated from our physical form. Yes. So technically, our bodies right now are, you could say dead, but we'll- there will be, I guess you, it, if that's, the, by that definition, they'll also then be resurrected it, once we're done here. So once we're done here, we're basically just turning into zombies. <laughs> more like we died, <laughs> more like we died and then we're resuscitated. Yeah, we no, become we're zombies. Dead. I'm sticking with zombies. I don't care what you say. Shut up, Arvin. Yeah, we become <laughs> re-dead. <laughs> Look, a little What's a re-dead? Wait, on... what's a re-dead? On that note, though, like, bodies don't you, like to be dead because they're, and they're so to decompose if we take, you know, bodies hours on like hours. So we probably want to get a move on. So we Explaining to decomposition to toddlers. Bodies don't <laughs> like to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bodies don't like to be dead, and they'll start to throw a fit by throwing away all of their all all of their cool toys. Yeah. <laughs> and brain cells. Just all just right. wait till you have to explain a body farm to a toddler. That'll be fun. <laughs> so 
So, Zelda, where are we supposed to go? Um, and then, um, well, Zelda's like, I'm not sure. And then you see a figure standing up at the top of the, uh, of, of, of the cliff face. Um, she's like kind of got blonde hair, um, and some like red markings along, along her face. And, and I uh, try to fly. And and <laughs> and and blue and white robes on. I don't care what's going on. I'm trying to fly. <laughs> My sieve is pretty high. Is there a chance I could recognize who this is? Roll sieve. Ooh. Yeah, I got a fifteen. You guys rolled the exact same thing, but our <laughs> much higher bonus. You. <laughs> Arbit, you are Call pretty. Arbit, dumb. <laughs> Arbit, you are pretty confident on who it is, but though, like, at literally as as the name comes into your mind, it comes out of Zelda's mouth as she as she I says say simultaneously. Impa. She's not gonna one up me. Impa. <laughs> we say it at the same time. She's not gonna one up me. Hello, Palm, are you there? You're flying in the background yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can is Palm talking? Impa's oh. dead, y'all. Impa's dead. Impa's dead. Clearly. I mean she and is in the world spirit of campaign. Realm. Impa's dead. The yeah, whole world, world is, is done for. It's not yeah, the legend I mean. of Impa. <laughs> Impa.exe is now technical difficulties. Hello? The Legend of Arbit. <laughs> Miss Tree. Tears of the Child. Miss, Miss Tri. Impa walks, Impa walks away and leaves us alone, I guess. <laughs> okay, Impa bye. just looks at us and just shakes her head and just walks away. Right. She's like, nah. She's just like, these? These are the heroes? Nah. These? <laughs> these? They're hopeless. You just see Goro in the background flapping Try his to arms, fly. and he and he's like getting a little tiny bit off the ground. Goro's trying to fly. I'm sitting here trying to put my hand through my arm because I think I can. <laughs> Saw his book in chat, by the way. All right. Well, <laughs> now we're waiting on some uh, technical difficulties. See, it's what I said earlier. Because everybody was on time, we have some tech issues. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, I was uh, so impressed because like I, I invited everyone, um, and like within within moments, everyone was like queued up and in. I was like, oh wow, what? <laughs> well, all right. Um, how about that? Uh, the Zelda movie. Yeah, oh yeah, that's going to be so cool. I, I I'm looking forward to it, and of course I think that it's going to be it's a, a new link because if they do an existing link, firstly, firstly, if they do Breath of the Wild link, that would date the movie. Secondly, mm -hmm. it, but it, the whole point is there's all these reincarnations. There's literally no yeah. way that it's not a new reincarnation. The real question is who are they going to get to play Link? Oh, no, yeah. no, that's yeah, not the real question. Tom, Tom Holland is like the only answer I could think. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> the real question. <laughs> Link they want to do though? Do they want to do like a twelve-year-old Link? Like... No. The real question is, what do Link's lines look like? Aww. He's just gonna. He's just gonna show up, and he it, it, like the teaser. It's gonna for the movie. It's gonna be real bad. He's gonna show up. He's gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Link. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? <laughs> no, they're I mean, going to get Chris Pratt to do it. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> no. Chris Pratt is going to be Link. Jack Black is going to be Ganondorf. <laughs> I'm okay with that, but... I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. that works. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't know, because like, Ganondorf's role is way more serious. In the Vibrant Jillian live action, Ganondorf, that'd be awesome. I don't know. 
Ganon in Tears of the Kingdom was kind of kind of a cornball. <laughs> you ask me. I Don't get me wrong, Matthew Mercer is a great voice actor, mm. but I think so many other people could have played the role of Ganondorf better. Um, I think he did a great job. I just, I just don't... Does he do a lot of, like, you know, person acting roles as opposed to voice acting? I don't think so. No. Yeah, because this is live action, so... I should get, I should get The Rock to play Ganondorf. Heck yeah! <laughs> No, get Kevin Hart. No, the rock, the rock will be Ganondorf. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart needs to be Link. His, his, Kevin Hart will be his little attendant. He'll, he'll be one of Ganondorf's servants. Kevin Hart is Nafi. <laughs> oh my god. The sassiest yeah. Nafi ever. <laughs> Oh, this it. movie's gonna be rated R. <laughs> Get Chris Tucker as Link. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Chris Tucker as Link. Yes. <laughs> hey, listen here, man. <laughs> Yo, you be going <laughs> up by the stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what the f you doing. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna take out this sword and I'm gonna go swing, swing at you. <laughs> pew pew! <laughs> Side of a sword, it's just a laser gun. Pew pew! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hello. Am hello. I in? Hey! hey. Oh, there she she is. Is. Hello! Hello! Where's right. Impa? I can't see her. <laughs> hello! Yeah, she said she wasn't in the camera for an awfully long time. Because of technical difficulties. Uh. Anyway, that welcome. or because she's or that because she's making excuses. Can't it be both? <laughs> anyway, welcome <laughs> to the spirit realm. How uh, how strange to see you all here. I didn't expect this. What what seek you? Zelda is just. Pale and flabbergasted, jaw wide open. I'm Zelda, calm down. You need to focus. Maybe I did die. Just Zelda, you could, you could get an autograph later. <laughs> we got stuff to do. <laughs> All of you need to focus. If you're here, it's for only one reason. It's because you need the MacDuffin. The what? McMuffin? Mc McMuffin. <laughs> I'm gonna have to invent the McMuffin. Oh, do you know what a McGuffin is? <laughs> yeah, I'm it's just being annoying. The Ocarina of Spirit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, now we have to go collect Like, no books. one actually calls their objects McGuffins in movies and stuff. <laughs> It's a McMuffin. It's a Why term. would they? It's a word you made up. <laughs> it, no, it's not a word that I made up. A MacGuffin uh, no, no, is is, is like an order. item that's supposed yeah. to like solve all the problems if only the if only the protagonist yeah. could go get it. Essentially, that it's yeah. a trope. It's it's, yeah. a, it's a term for a trope. Well, we're taking a very literal approach here, and this whatever is whatever a MacGuffin looks like. The references Paul missed. <laughs> references Paul missed to the English language. <laughs> You said you hadn't figured out the specifics of it. Here you go. It's a muffin. <laughs> yeah, you did. And your problems are solved. Muffin button. <laughs> We're Arvish, collecting you make a spiritual muffin. <laughs> anyway, who's the real dead person here? <laughs> it's like when we when we find the MacGuffin, it's just it's just a worker from McDonald's behind. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Spirit Realm McDonald's. Can I take your order? It's not even the worker, it's just the uniform. See, <laughs> but all the McDonald's, the like, internationally, are, like, way better than the American one. Imagine the McDonald's in heaven. 
It must be miscalculate. This is this is like the. <laughs> I feel like that would be a sin. This is like the limbo McDonald's. <laughs> this is this is Purgatory's McDonald's. <laughs> McDon McDonald's it's owns the spirit realm, you so have every to roll so much to see what kind of day you're gonna have. little spiritual M's float by. It's all right, but they always forget something. And, and every so often, you see across the sky, I'm loving it. The ghost of Grimer and that, um, like, oh, uh, what was that character that they had to remove because it was too similar to a the kid's hamburglar. No, there's someone else besides the hamburger. The hamburger and I have become great friends in this spirit realm. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as evil and wicked as you might think. He just wants a burger, man. <laughs> yeah, he just wants a burger. <laughs> And Grimace, he's practically a comedian here. We have a whole little stage and amphitheater and everything. It's amazing. Truly, I never expected this from death. This is not canon. <laughs> this is absolutely <laughs> canon. No. Wait, what about Ronald McDonald's weird dog? <laughs> You're thinking about Mickey Mouse's canon. weird dog. No, Ronald McDonald totally had a dog. Ganoramus is just in a bad mood because he has low blood sugar. He's <laughs> not him when he's hungry. This entire campaign has just been an ad for McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've been building out so towards. <laughs> okay, he had a dog named Sunday, and I need to post Zelda. in the Discord chat what it looks like. Anyways, yes. Zelda, right. you might recall your father wasn't always so vile and cruel. It's because he wasn't always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not you when you're hungry. He just needs a Snickers. That's why I he laughs so this violently. Was the legend of Arbit. <laughs> the legend of Arby's. <laughs> we have the meats. Wait, is this how Arby's came to be? It came from Arby's. Wait, it's yeah, it's a mistranslation. This is the this is the origin story of Arby's. <laughs> yeah, Arbit founded Arby's. <laughs> my curly fries yeah. are legendary. <laughs> oh my! Regardless, Anyways. you're here looking for the McMuffin, the Ocarina of Spirit. <laughs> you are, well, aren't you? The Ocarina of Spirit. I was going picture. to say that. Yep. Before Solid. you proceed. That is a you horrifying to... picture. <laughs> Wait, I, I want to see. Um, <laughs> before horrifying. you can proceed, you need to cleanse any burdens, any doubts that weigh upon you. This is the boss. Do any of you have... <laughs> the boss will be slightly better pre prepared than this. Come on now. <laughs> no, the, the boss we actually have prepared. Yeah, no, this, this, this is, is just palm horrifying. tree tries getting stage fright. <laughs> oh my god, that is terrifying. Yeah, that was real. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a nightmare. Yes, it was. That was real. That was a real nightmare. That it, looks no, like it something was real. From, it's on stream. Oh, there's movie? also this. This is funny. But uh, this is on stream. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a new final boss of this dungeon. Any whom? <laughs> yeah, that's Ronald McDonald's dog. Sunday. Ew. I if you're not in Discord, you should drive. Join. Try exclamation mark Discord. <laughs> See what we're on about. Anyway. Actually, this are is we a private actually chat, allowing so. chaos Do any of you? Stuff? Are any of us really alive? I know I'm not. And you, you're all in a strange in between for a short amount of time, but you must focus and you must hurry. Now, what burdens do you have that must be relieved before you can proceed? I what told ways... you we were dead. <laughs> what weighs upon your soul and prevents you from seeing what you must see? Not getting back to my spice business fast enough. No. We'll get there. We'll get there. Rova, child, do you have anything weighing on you? Any concerns? Haunting? What doesn't she have? Maybe. Is this is this sharing time? Is this like a therapy session? Or... This is sharing time, and I snap my fingers, and a small campfire appears. <laughs> oh, okay, well, oh, teach oh. yourself. It all began Can many you snap years your ago. And let us fly in the air like birds. When I was a different fish. 
a friendly guardian that is like maybe you know like a, 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 about like two thirds the size of the guardians from from uh, Breath of the Wild, but though uh, one of them nonetheless um, appears in front. Actually, wait, no, I have I have custom ones. We're gonna use Damie's art. Woo! Art. I want to pet it. You I want to pet it. I want to pet the guardian. I want to sonic this as No! <laughs> Zanzi, what is it that grieves you? I plead the fifth. I think it's her grandma that grieves me. Shut up! <laughs> you cannot find what you seek until you find who you are and what you need. I need a burger. <laughs> I need to go home. Did you just say you need a burger? <laughs> is it home inside your heart? No. Or something? Home is where the heart is. No. Yeah. Is it home wherever your friends are? What I friends? think you I put home on your room? tax forms. Maybe this <laughs> is home. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> are any of you willing to share what weighs upon your hearts, your souls? You oh, there. Oh. You there, yes, Arbit. I miss, I miss my grandma. I miss my family. Uh, Zanzi's mean to me. Uh, everyone else is pretty nice, though. Uh, but I wish I could spend more time with them. And um, uh, grandma and Zelda. Me a hug. And Zelda, what what is it that you need? <laughs> what is it that rests on your soul? I. I we're gonna want... come back. We'll circle back to the grandma not giving you a hug thing. Don't oh. worry. Well, we're just we're like everybody. Table order. <laughs> 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 what, what I, I do you it. have, ma'am? Um, suddenly we're just, we're just leveling bug. the playing field, getting everybody's grievances aired. One of the uh, one of the guardian scouts, horrible. which you can see image of on screen now, um, like um, which is just it like it uh, it's next to it's just sitting there next next to Rova because I'm just assuming Rova's sitting on the end of the line and. Um, and, 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 and it raised, and it raised his hands like, I, I, I have, I have crippling depression. <laughs> no one, everybody at this campfire circle has crippling depression. That does not make you special. It will not make you a hero. I don't. <laughs> what about crippling anxiety? Nope, not that Show either. Show of hands. Who here doesn't have that? No? Okay, so that's not what's making us heroes, but holding us back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Raise the car <laughs> <laughs> Focus! Your bodies are deteriorating! You have the chance to return! A chance I do not have. Do not squander it. And I just let the silence really weigh on you all. I'm gonna just sit here and hold the scout and just pet the scout! Zelda raises her hand. Zelda? What bothers you? Do I have to kill my dad? Oh, Zelda. Of course we of do. Course. That's why we're here. I don't... Oh, I thought you knew. The father you once knew is, is, is gone from this world. Gone from you. He is out of reach. He's not dead, but he's not alive either. He's... He's gone. Wait, but but if he's not if he's not dead, then does that mean that we could He's No. He's not like you all are right now. He's transformed, changed into something completely irrevocably different. The father you knew has been eaten and consumed by the evil that has taken over. I'm so sorry you had to find out like this. So sorry you had to find out at all. Well, tell him to go kill him. You know, I read this book once about it's it took place a very long time ago about this guy named Luke Skywalker. And this other guy named Darth And this other guy named Darth Vader. And they said that Darth Vader was not redeemable either, but he still did it. <laughs> well, stories what of make believe are not the stories in which we live. What was the This is the stories of reality where he has been he traded his soul, his life, his all that you know, all that you remember. And all that remains of that is what is in your memory. 
There is no future for that creature, for he is that gone. No, so no, 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 it can't be, it can't be. We just gotta, we just gotta get the Ganon out of him. Zelda, you can't get the Ganon out of him any more than you could get the goddess out of you. But what if we tried to hit him really hard? <laughs> then it would really hurt. Whack-a-mole! <laughs> and that is exactly what you need to do, is hit him really, really hard. And I know it will be hard. And I know he wears the face of a man he once knew, once loved. But that is only a mask. No, 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 And I go over and I start, like, holding her and just, like, shushing and petting her hair. Stop, stop, stop. This is... I'm dead. I'm I'm definitely dead. I am dead. You're not dead. Your father is dead. I am dead. <laughs> you're not Link dead, but you're dead. dead. <laughs> My name's Fox. Fox McCloud. <laughs> My father's dead. dead. <laughs> Fox. Trust and unless you want all of your people to be dead as well, I think you know what you need to do. What you must do. Okay, let's go Akuda here. Matata. <laughs> Being in this realm for so long has given me a... a not omnipotence, not all-knowingness, but insight to things that we couldn't have seen before. You're gonna have to trust me. I trust you completely. Are I you really the person I just met? You all don't have to. Are you Zelda really does. Impa? Oh, well. I Remember trust that you time anyways, if anyone when cares. you were a wee little girl and you fell and you scraped your knee, and there was nobody there, all alone in the Hyrule fields, and I was there. Remember that time? crossing the bridge of Hylia. You almost fell off the ledge. You tripped. Elizalfos jumped out and spooked you. No one was there but me. You almost fell off a bridge? <laughs> she wasn't the most graceful child. Was it? <laughs> Weren't we all? Why do you think she took the triple I know form so well? <laughs> Aren't princesses trained to be graceful? Why do you think they need so much training? <laughs> Doesn't come naturally. <laughs> it's me, and it's you, but it's not him. Tears start just welling up, and she starts sobbing and like em and embraces Impa. Um, just um. Ugly crying at this point in, 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 into into her robe. There, there, child. It'll be all right. One day. Not today, not tomorrow, but you will make it so that it is all right for everyone else. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't be sorry. This no. is no fault of yours. It is! I didn't, I couldn't do it! I couldn't, you I still can't do it! I don't know, can I? I can't do you it! Can. You can. The power is within you. You just have to believe. You have to trust in me. Trust in these friends that surround you. These wielders of the Triforce. They will support you and they will be there for you in this time of hardship and grief. They don't when even want to be around, here. When you look around to eventually pan over to Kogoro, he's just standing there eating a drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> How would you... A spiritual drumstick. <laughs> The spiritual <laughs> drumstick. <laughs> That's a new oh, band name. New band name dropped. Spiritual Let's drumstick. Let's go. I got one with the band name. I'll say, Arbit's just doing an awkward, endearing, like half goofy, half smile with like a thumbs up. Like, I'm petting the robot. <laughs> I'm happily petting the robot. It kind robot. of like whirs and beeps like a uh, like a droid from Star Wars <laughs> as you pet it. Yeah. <laughs> it was like. Can I keep it? <laughs> 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 this is mine now. I want it. <laughs> These odd ones who you have befriended, whose trust hey! you earned. You know you're odd. Be proud of <laughs> it. I have blue hair. Doesn't make me odd. It doesn't make it's you odd. It's not the hair, honey. <laughs> 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 I hate all of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> together. You guys will stop anyone else in Hyrule from having the same hardship caused by this vile evil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to find the ocarina or not? No. Yes. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I... How could you forgive me, though? I, it's my... Because I, if I had done... If I had just done my job, then... You can't change what has been done. But you can do your duty now. Nobody holds it against you. But we do look for you. To you. For hope. For tomorrow. She starts sobbing even more and holding you firmer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at her and just be, as I'm like petting the robot still, <laughs> just be like, you know, everything comes in a season and maybe you just weren't in a season to do your job yet. And maybe this is the season to do your job. I smile very wistfully at you and nod an appreciative nod. I'm squirting <laughs> spiritual barbecue sauce on my, <laughs> my <breast. laughs> I'm just, just gonna look over and be like, where did you get that? <laughs> if I could summon a campfire, I'd be able to summon a McDonald's. <laughs> Wait, there's a McDonald's? <laughs> Hang on, I'm naming this robot Kara, and we're going to McDonald's. I'll be back. <laughs> the robot's coming with me. Take your time. Enjoy oh, your career. Sorry, I had to save that as a quote. <laughs> I didn't say on you. I said on the drumstick. <laughs> it's on you now. <laughs> I, I heard on you. Oh, Anyways. Heard. Come now, Zelda. Take a short rest at this fire and leave your grief in the ashes. <laughs> now you there, boy who grieved for the grandmother who didn't hug him. What, um... <laughs> <laughs> is, is that... I'm not sure... I said it was almost omnipotency. Could you, uh... Is she here? I'd like to hug from her now? Oh what no I I no no I the first thing I said was my grandma she's she's gone I miss her Oh 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 would you, would you like to see her What is she here Is she here Is she, is she, is she dead she here? What is she dead Yes where, where are you you're not asking me anything you're not a person Is she dead <laughs> Oh yeah She's here somewhere. Uh, can I snap my fingers and make it happen? Oh, game mechanics. Roll. I snap my fingers and make the campfire happen. Roll two d six. Oh no. This is gonna, gonna summon my grandma. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed your grandma. Did that require killing her? <laughs> that would be... Yeah, that would. I couldn't wait for the herbs. <laughs> I told you she died first. Funny enough, her spirit goes into the spirit world, but uh, but her body's still going just out of pure spite. <laughs> I'm telling you, Grandma's Batman. Is. She refuses to die. <laughs> she's dead, but she still refuses to die. <laughs> <laughs> Her her body still works as normal. Everything her body's looks still normal. Still literally just repeatedly. And um, an el an elderly Kyovern appears in front of you. Um, like um, when it, it, an elderly Kyovern. So you know you 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 know how uh, dogs when they get old. What? I'm trying to think of how animals out. age. Dogs don't do that. <laughs> These are bats. Obviously, it's um, it's more like its wings are thinner and the bones are more pronounced, and it's uh, frailer and has a silvery complexion. 
Yeah, Thank let's you. go with that. Thank you, co-writer. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, this appears in front of you. Is that my grandma? Yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> it's a well, now I need, now I need grandma. Will, we're gonna have a problem. Now I need Will to confirm it, because Will's the DM. Okay, two thumbs up. That means double yes. Uh, Is there Arbit, two grandmas? Ar <laughs> no. Ar Arbit goes, Grandma! And, and runs over and uh, gives her a big hug. Is she physical? Um, yeah, you're able to hug her. Oh. Okay. Our armpit, dearie. This is not, no, <laughs> that's not what she was like. Grandmother would never have said that. I completely agree. Grandmother would never no, have said that. That's Jima. That's Jima style. <laughs> now, would she Jima call him, Chisel like, calls him armpit. I'm armpit sorry. Or something oh. weird? Possibly. Ar armpit, dearie. It's so good to see you. Grandma, Grandma, look at all the friends I made. We're not friends. Oh, are, are you his friends? No. Wow, that was cold. Zelda says, says y yes. Well. We're not just friends. We're best friends. Ugh. Yeah, see, Grandma? <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. Come on, guys. At least put in some effort for Grandma. I'm, I miss you, Grandma. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, that's so good to hear. I've been watching. You've been watching. I'm just standing good, in the background. probably. <laughs> I'm just standing in the background eating a Big Mac. <laughs> Did you get a Big Mac from? Spiritual, <laughs> spiritual McDonald's. Yeah. He's got a spiritual I'm... Happy Meal. <laughs> hey, hey. Listen, Kara has a spirit the spiritual toy? Happy Meal. <laughs> I got me a Big Mac with bacon. We're good. I got my fries. I got my shake. I'm just sitting with Goro, just chilling. No, no, no. Spiritual bacon, spiritual fries, etc. Yeah. yeah. If there's, Look at if the there's toy a I got toy. in my Happy Meal. I want to oh, take, no. take his toy. <laughs> it on. is just his tooth. It's just his Oh, no. I say, I say, Grandma, I hope you're doing good, too. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty peaceful here in these parts. That's good. That's good. Uh, Arba, Arba is just kind of, Arba's like crying, but he never once stops smiling. Aww. No, Maybe sad. Oh, me. they're there. Oh. As... As Grandma goes, it's peaceful here. Can I just have Pink come on and just be like, da 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 da? I'm gonna start a fight. <laughs> no. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> roll for it. Yeah! <laughs> what do I roll? 2d6. 2d6s. Sansy, we let you deal with your grandmother. Let me nah, we're going with this. Is. That's Crud! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So right close. in the middle. <laughs> da, 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 so da, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the intro. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Rocky one. Was there anything weighing upon your soul other than your need to get back to your body? Oh me? Yes, Kogoro. Oh. Uh... Uh. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, else you'd like to add? <laughs> nope. He's turned into Patrick Star. <laughs> okay, Rova, you were beginning to tell what sounded like a very lengthy backstory. Would you like the me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I pretty much told everyone everything so far so it's not like i mean we we you know they they've 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 seen the, the psychopath themselves you know they they know they know what's going on um, and are you at peace with it no and what will it take to get you to peace with it murder murder murder, murder, murder. only solves zelda's problem <laughs> tell me, tell me, Impa, is my father here? Is he, is he dead? I think at last I checked. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, last time I was in Zora's domain and went That's... to his tomb. You're welcome, I... Alex. Yeah. He, if if he wasn't dead, then my uh, then my sister went on a bit of a murder spree for no reason, which would be really awkward. Oh, I see. Unless I, he's secretly alive, in which case that'd be really awkward. I... <laughs> he's hiding. What do you... Can I get a description of him? You know, like any other Zora fellow? There's a, there's a bunch he of them was, running around he up was, here. He was, captain, he was captain of the guard. Like blue fins, green fins, we've got a guy with gold fins. He's got, you know, like similar... What kind of fins do I have? Similar to me. Yeah, that. <laughs> like sky blue. I... I've seen a couple folks like you swimming around. Get the gold fins guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's rare. He's lucky. Let's go. <laughs> He's shiny. He's shiny. He's shiny. He's a shiny. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we discover. Zanzi actually has ADHD. It's canon. He's shiny. <laughs> He yeah, like, starts running after him. <laughs> he looks like shiny magic carp. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna catch him. Would you like to go look out at the pool of other Zora folks that have joined? We have a little lake over here where they all like to hang out. <laughs> I, I would, I would. Alex, oh, why is that your question? <laughs> I want to go to the <laughs> play bingo. <laughs> Not why that's the question, but like, is the gold Incredibly guy so, so. Alex. <laughs> Absolutely, Alex. 100%. Wow. You, you want to come look at the pool, uh, Rova? Yes. Yes. And I, uh, I guide you uh, through a little meadow, uh, and the scenery around you changes as we progress through this very interesting land of the spirit realm. And suddenly we're in this magnificent, glimmering, shining pool uh, filled with different oh, uh, Zoras flapping around doing their Zora thing. Do I recognize any of these Zoras? <laughs> Goros just eating Good a 10-piece ten, chicken McNugget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing one of the chicken nuggets. Oh, you've <laughs> a pulled some. You guys can see at the bottom pulled. right my schedule. Oh. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are lunch hour streams. You got additional scenes in the evenings on Wednesdays, and Saturdays will resume in the mornings starting not this week, but next. Probably. Unless something else happens. Anyways. <laughs> Welcome in. Hello, hello. How was your streaming? What were you up to? Also, what was the name of the, uh, Sidon? What if Goldie is hotter than Sidon, though? Impossible. <laughs> Sidon, Sidon's not that hot. Come on. I honestly, actually, I agree. I think he's overhyped. Overrated. The voice actor is hotter than the character, just saying. Oh, thanks for shouting out the stars there. Yes, go check, go check her out. Some Scarlet Nice. There you go. You're you you are correct. I only say that because everyone simps over him. I never got under, understood right? why. I, I I agree. Like I, I just like it's the thing to say, but like uh, I don't Yeah. Know. Yeah. All right. Anyways, Anyways so uh, you you're leading him towards a pool. Do I recognize any Zoras in the pool? Zoras there. Will? Um, roll. Okay, can I get um, uh, where's my list? I guess perception. Yeah, perception in this case. Perception. Well, wow. so 
let me find my character sheet. This is my first roll of this session. <laughs> well. They, so here's the thing. You, 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 your color is probably one of the most common colors for, for, for <laughs> Zora. And it's very, it's, it's like trying to find a, um, a, a like, um, a fish in a pile of other fish. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Dinner's on the stove, sweetheart. Welcome home. Not right now. Thank you, though. It's like trying to find hay in a haystack, but you have to find a specific piece of hay. Alex says hi. Hi, Paul. And hi. Alex and Will and, and all of the various. Hi. hi. <laughs> <You're not laughs> Alrighty. So, what do you what do you do, uh, Roba? Stare for a few moments in silence and then just shake my head. Maybe he never made it here after all. I wanted to ask him what I should do if I were to meet my sister again. Have you tried calling out for his name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would probably be the easiest thing. Let's be real. You know? <laughs> Zelda, I see you've recovered quite quickly. That's a good idea. It's, it's a very common name. I can't remember what I what, what his name was. <laughs> it's been so long. He never made a canon, I don't think, so you can say whatever at this point. I it's thought I did. Josh. <laughs> Goldie. <laughs> Goldie. <laughs> uh, just... just call him Pops. <laughs> I don't know. Can I just shout like Father? Wouldn't he recognize my voice? Oh yeah, that's true. You can try. Roll a luck check. Father, can you hear me? <laughs> How do you want to fail this? I'm just gonna like shout it out really loudly and like so that it just starts to echo. And like, it's just kind of this like, like they were kind of doing their thing, the Zoras, like, you know, swimming around. And this echoes so loudly that they kind of just turn and look at me awkwardly and they're like, what? What are, you, what are you doing? And like, and they just kind of stare for a moment, and then I just kind of like shuffle back awkwardly, like, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to disturb your uh, swimming. I was expecting you to like fall off the cliff or something. <laughs> and I just like slowly back away, but they're all just still kind of staring at me, like, what? what are you doing? <laughs> until, until I'm eventually out of sight. You do so. Well, there's. There's other ponds we can check. Um, there's other fish in the sea. Yeah. There's other fish in the sea. Is there a sea Would here? You, you like to check the other ponds or scour this one a little more thoroughly? <sighs> there's so many Zora in this in this realm. How long how long do we have? Or isn't this you know? Are, we are, have are long we enough other... for you to find closure. For you can't exit as long as this grief weighs upon you. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep looking. Is there another pond? And I, uh, I guide you through another transitional scene of, you know, it goes through like a jungle and then a forest and then a desert and then suddenly it settles onto a nice little river. Uh, it's a lovely little stream trickling through between two large boulders. While y'all are doing that, um, the little robot goes up to the uh, go goes up to the Goron. He's like, "What? What? What triggers you?" Mm. <laughs> I'm Emily, that's a question Emily asked by someone who's gonna do Dogs. it on purpose. <laughs> well, let me. Dogs think. trigger him. Dogs. <laughs> no, I've gotten over that. 
Have you met this dog named Service? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real dog. What a bet. <laughs> also, dogs are make make you scared, huh? Pop, 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 pop. I I go from my friendly demeanor. I look at the robot dead in the eyes with this like just super tiny pupil look like dead serious and I'm like you don't talk about the little robot don't touch the robot Goro I'm gonna like grab the robot like, protectively his, his head kind of like turtles into his body I'm gonna grab him and just like hug him and be like how dare you Goro I go back to eating my 20 piece chicken McNuggets <laughs> I'm gonna just swipe like five of them and keep walking with the robot, just feeding him the nuggets. So he continues eating his 15 piece McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Um, by the way, chat, y'all y'all can cause chaos here. Most of the chaos table redemptions are available. Um, oh players may not. Oh. Am I a player? Up. This isn't fun. Bad. Am I a player? Probably. <laughs> Currently. Somebody summon that we all get uh, plasma arm cannons like in Metroid. <laughs> I mean, no, traditionally, so we have like, up in here. 50, like, hero tokens. Yeah, I spawn mean... Ganaramus in here. <laughs> the GM's oh, role. Oh, right you you you've, you've helped you helped GM a chaos table before. You you know the rules. Do oh, I? Yeah. You assume I remember them? <laughs> Only spawn what is absolutely necessary for 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 what oh. for what's needed. Fifty, 50 hero, hero tokens. tokens. Definitely necessary. Fifty I think hero tokens. Is absolutely necessary at this moment. Yeah. I agree. Maybe maybe it'll be an illusionary dinner. And it's like, you know, in this story I read about this guy named Luke Skywalker. And he <laughs> this, uh... Did you read any other stories? <laughs> um, no. That was the only one that I liked reading as a child. This time you want to try yelling your father's name into the brook rather than the very vague, um, father. Might, might work. Oh. Maybe. Is there is there Zora's in, in this so this is like a river? Yep. Yep, this is a little river. Hmm. Runs between two this... big boulders and they're flipping, taking turns jumping off the boulders into the river and it's a whole thing. This river I feel like I recognize it from somewhere. This looks just like the river where my sister and I used to play when we were younger. We take turns yeah. jumping off those boulders over there, trying to see who could do the most elaborate trick until one of us eventually got hurt every time and our father had to carry us home. Hmm. If he was anywhere, he would be here. Sounds like you have lots of fond memories of your sister. Hmm. Nothing but memories now. Um, I call out my father's name, which is Silas. Mm. Definitely didn't just make that up. I should have went with like Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. I want to ruin the moment. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Betty to his friends. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> oh, Bean, I need to find in my notes. What what was because you you have a different name. Oh, in my notes, or in the in the original? Because I forgot I forgot what the. I it it has been made canon before. Uh, it has. See, that's yeah. what I thought, and I just forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah I I, ha I have it written down somewhere. I need to find it. Hmm. See, that's what I thought. 
As you stare out at the pond, the water, it trickling, you see people jumping, completely ignoring what you're saying. But you hear footsteps coming up from behind you. Twin yes. steps, I suppose. Um, you feel a... <laughs> Flashy spin wet, steps. Wet, wet slaps on a concrete floor. <laughs> it, it's like when you, when you get out of the pool after swim class. <laughs> and a yep. fin reaches out and touches your shoulder and says... Dinah. Is that you? Hello, father. Yeah. Oh. He, um, he, he hugs you. I hug back. It's been a very long time. Listen. Where, where's your sister? She's far away now. But sooner or later, I know our paths will cross again. What really happened? She was angry. Angry at those she deemed responsible for your death. And so she became a murderer. Threw away everything we had and framed me for the deed. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> now it seems that her lust for power and vengeance has just consumed her. And the sister I once had is, is gone. You can't I thought I could... Sorry, but... <laughs> you can't blame yourself for that. It's not your fault. She told me what she was planning before she did it. She wanted me to join her. I could have stopped her. Would joining her really have stopped her? Well, at least we'd still be together then. And would that be worth it? To be a murderer as well? since you were gone she's now the only family i have left she's the only choice i have now is to join her or kill her she's been consumed by anger it sounds like maybe perhaps if we were together again i could change that things could go back to how they used to be and i look back over at the river and the boulders it's not that simple It's true, she's not truly dead. There's still... There's still something in her. Still that... Unloving sister that... You, you long for. Somewhere deep in there. Buried beneath the hatred. It's like, it's like in that bedtime story you used to read us. About, about Darth Vader and... Luke Skywalker. <laughs> wow, really hung Circle. up on that, aren't we? Yes. Because even when others doubted, he was still, he's still good inside There's him. There's Star Wars marathon in your future, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you got to remember that when Darth Vader came to, it was in order to die on behalf of Luke, in order to stop the Emperor, right? Hateful <laughs> chaos. Wonderful. Wonderful. No, I appreciated it. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. That was good. Alright. Um now I now I've lost my train of thought. What are we talking about? <laughs> talking about Darth Vader and Darth oh, yeah. Vader. Well, maybe Impa's right. Stories are just stories. Yes. Though, there might be some way to unearth that compassion. If, perhaps, if, if, we, if we do take to that story, right? 
Darth Vader's compassion for his kin was greater than his anger. Maybe you can bring out whatever she loves, something that she loves more than she hates. Hmm. Perhaps. And then maybe also, hopefully not get killed by an emperor. Hmm. Named well, we are about to see all of this group killed by decomposition here soon. <sighs> So as I, though I hate to speed this along, are there any other parting words you two would like to say to each other? Oh, you're not dead? Me? Yeah. Well, no, otherwise we wouldn't be, it's, uh, otherwise we wouldn't be talking about going back and confronting, anyways. <laughs> well, I thought this was all just metaphorical. Oh. <sighs> We got a, it's, it's, it's a long story. You got to try for a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways. Your son's a hero. I'll tell you about it later. Daughter. Daughter. Daughter's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you do look kind of like a boy. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> wow! It's the short dorsal <laughs> fin. She can't help it. It's yeah. a genetic condition. The Zoras—they just—they all. I, I never this with them. <laughs> this is uh. They blur together sometimes. This is fine. Oh, uh, I, now I need <laughs> to redeem Roma. something. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. Th this is this is for Paul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> Don't be racist. I am a building. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. Where were we? <laughs> Anyways, father. Daughter. There's. I said, I said, father. <laughs> wow. Wow. So how can you tell, right? Is it a fin thing? Is it a scale thing? Yeah, she's digging herself a deeper hole there. <laughs> wow. Impa, not now. Oh, not now. We're, we're trying to, we're trying to... I don't think we need to go into Zora Anatomy at the moment. <laughs> I don't listen, think that's rated G. Listen, Impa came from a different time. <laughs> this is true. Uh, Hyrule's become very anyway. progressive. Very. Um, anyways, Father, there's much has happened since we last saw each other, and now there's something I must do. But... Speaking to you has helped. Thank you for the clip. Clear my mind a little bit. And all I have left to say is um, tell my mother hi for me. Will do. All right. And I, I give him one last hug and then depart. And then um, as you as you back away, he's suddenly gone. And so are the rest of the Zora that were in the water. All right, I wander back to the group. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's canon. Sorry, Palm. <laughs> Impa is officially racist. <laughs> Hey, listen, she's trying. Add that so that quote. just means she's she's prejudiced. She's not racist. Someone added his quote. <laughs> she doesn't know better. Somehow yes. both? Both. Yes. Well, both. quit, quit, yeah, quit, <laughs> quit bargaining for both. <laughs> <laughs> you want both? You'll get it. The answer is yes. 
<laughs> Tom Preacher Eyes has disconnected from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> dig, dig, grave digger. <laughs> dig, grave digger, dig. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty, so you guys regroup back together. And the little robot's like, Impa, Im Impa, Impa, the, the rock man said something about dogs. Just a dog. <laughs> There's one behind orbit! There's <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wait, Impa, are you there? Does Impa respond? Oh, Impa yeah, is... sorry. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here. Hi. Okay. There's a dog? No, no! I think he's scared of them. I am not scared of dogs, you stinky little robot. I'm still holding him in my arms. Is there I'm anything? Staring at Goro. <laughs> Goro, I feel you must know, before we approach the McMuffin Ocarina of Spirit. Also, you can't have any just... weights holding you down. If it's you just... take a bite of the muffin and your soul is not free, the consequences will be dire. He, he's holding a drink with a straw and he's just going... <laughs> you know, I feel like regardless if you... If you take enough bites of the muffin, the consequences will be dire no matter what. <laughs> Your objective is to get Ganondorf him Ganoramus himself to take a bite of the muffin, for that will separate his soul from the Triforce. Few so, can unless... withstand the full force of McMuffin. <laughs> his <laughs> unclean soul weighed like down we by the made this a Taco Bell evil. burrito. <laughs> that seems more challenging. <laughs> Oh my gosh. His cursed and unclean soul will not respond us to the muffin. As if, well. you give, if you give him a Taco Bell taco, it'll clean more than that. Honestly, I was going to say, I was going to say, just like a, white, like a pack of White Castle sliders. Yes! Yes! <laughs> White Castle sliders, they slide right out later. And they're also like the beef oh. is onion flavored, and the onions are onion flavored, and the buns are onion flavored. <laughs> and Zanzibar, do you have any? Uh, is your soul free of burden? Yeah, sure, Ready we'll go with that. To test the muffin? <laughs> yep, sure, we'll go with that. No. Stay deep. I don't. I don't think. I don't think so. I know I'm good. Danzy. This is Zelda speaking. You can't tell. <laughs> I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me that. That you're truly over it. Over what? There's nothing to be over. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Sounds like there's something to talk about. I knew it. Impa, don't let her don't let her approach. It's too dangerous. Danzy, is there something you wanna tell us? Nope. I'm fine. Is there something you need to tell us whether you want to or not in order to take a bite of the magic muffin? Nope. Do you Good. do you want the rest of them to to go away for now, maybe? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> I think I saw a... They all uh, just pass out. <laughs> I saw a, I saw a spirit some... McDonald's just up the road. Let's go visit. I'm going to go order some, some fries. Is there a spirit that, uh... Uh, Starbucks? Because I feel like I'd be better in that environment, more comfortable than a McDonald's, so you know. Wow. Zane's well, the gang a away. white I girl. <laughs> half. I'm half and half, okay? I'm an Oreo. Get it right. <laughs> oh. Zane's secretly part of the preppy little white girls who go to Starbucks. 
<laughs> At least I don't go there daily. <laughs> All right. Only every other day. <laughs> so, the, not much better. While the rest of you go to spiritual McDonald's, um, <laughs> the, uh, Zanzi, Zelda, and um, uh, what's her face? Zimpa. Um, stay, stay Zimba. behind. <laughs> Zimba. Zimba. That's what happens when? Oh, I didn't think I stayed. I thought I took them to McDonald's. <laughs> nah, we need you here. Teacher leading the field trip. Nah, a girl oh, okay. can do that. Gotcha. Sorry. I've been here at the spiritual McDonald's enough times that they know me by now. <laughs> yeah, they know him by uh, name. Girl can lead them. What do you mean? The usual? What do you want? The usual? It's oh Not no! It's, it's 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 like when you have to go back to the hardware store because you forgot something, and the person at the at, at checking you out is like, "Oh, did you forget something, huh?" That's where no, that's what's happening. Here. It's it's when you're putting your PC together and have to go to Best Buy four times within the span of two hours because stuff stops working mm -hmm. after you buy it. Not speaking from personal experience, but you know. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, we can't get paid for this episode because we're using our like corporate inserts like how Idiocracy used them. <laughs> that's like that's like not a mistake they'll let they'll make twice. <laughs> I mean, no uh, unless unless this whole campaign is sponsored by McDonald's, I just say. It's all so one big ad. I mean, we got we got a couple of options. We got McDonald's, we got Taco Bell, we got Arby's, we got Starbucks at some point. Like, we have a couple options here. Yeah. I'm just saying Arbit should be the new face of Arby's. He's an exceptional cook. I don't want to wear yeah, the Arby's weird food is gross. cowboy hat thing. <laughs> Their horsey <laughs> sauce is good. And Arbit yeah. I'm going to judge you for that. Anyways. It's horse good. So, um, uh, so, so with, with, with it just being the three of you, uh, Zelda says, what, what is it? Oh, is she talking to me? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to stand there and like, do I still have the robot? <laughs> No, the That's robot the definitely thing. went to McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> just, just gonna stand there and just be, be like... a support robot? Like a therapy dog? Yeah, come on now. I fed the robot so much McDonald's. This is their third trip in the span of like 20 minutes. I need my emotional support robot. <laughs> you want, do you want to call for the robot? Do I want to call for the robot? Yeah. Kara! <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. I'm going to just hold out my arms and just do like the kid thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It, um, it, it, um, it, it's like as you hold out your arms, it puts uh, just a thing of fries into your hands. <laughs> just stare at the fries and be like, it's not what I wanted, but I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick up, pick up Kara and just like hold her and just like have her eat the fries from my hand. <laughs> and then just look at Zelda and just be like, do I have to talk about it? Impa, does she have to talk about it? You have to talk about it, dear. <sighs> you have to find closure. I don't want to. What if you told us a story? What if you told us the story of a different girl, a different young Gerudo lady, and what adventure she went on? What, a Gerudo lady who was abandoned by her parents and was never enough for her grandmother? If that's the story you need to tell. Sure, we'll go with that. What, um, what, does she know what happened to her parents? <laughs> nope. I just woke up one, or, I mean, to? she 
just woke up one day and they were gone. Does she want to know? Is there someone who knows? This is the spirit realm. It's all manner of ways of learning things. Sure. But the robot's coming with me. I, uh... Zelda, you up for a little journey? <laughs> yeah, 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 let's do it. I guide you all through... We go past the Spirit Realm McDonald's and we wave to everybody as we go by and we, we see a whole little strip mall of various Spirit World commercial places. Um, <laughs> and we, we stop by a, a spirit, like a... It's like a little booth. It looks like one of those, like, cheesy fortune teller booth sort of things, right? And it's got, like, this little, like, animatronic doll inside. Oh, gosh. It's a, it's a spirit world <laughs> animatronic fortune teller. I'm just gonna look at Impa and be like, I respect you so highly, but there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> oh, I wasn't taking you to this. Okay, good. <laughs> and I, like... Continue walking by, like, adamantly not looking at the, uh, spirit world animatronic fortune teller. And there we see a, um, a bench. A little stone bench thing that has this, this girl at it who has a, a series of, like, almost like a deck of cards in front of her. And I slow down to, like, look at her cards for a second. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. I'm gonna just stare at the cars and be like, what is that? That's one of your three questions. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, no, no one told say? me about three questions? No one told you about decomposition either, but here we are. Fine! What happened to my parents? No, sorry, what- who, did you say this is a person running this, or is it, this is the animatronic? Yeah, no, like it's a, a little, like, girl. There's a, there's a person, there's a person. Okay. There's like a small girl who's got like a deck of cards in front of her and they're on a bench. Like a picnic table sort of situation. Okay. Um, yeah, she she looks up as says, Do I have a story for you? <laughs> oh god, it's grandma Not this in one. a younger this form. One's horrible. <laughs> Would you rather go to a different place, or absolutely can find Let's the go. answer right here? <laughs> oh, but I was just about to tell you a story. It's a hoot and a half. Sit right down. Pull up a chair. <laughs> We're leaving. Let's go. <laughs> what does Zelda do? Zelda is no. Zelda's just vibing. She's not saying much. She doesn't say much. Is she standing or is she sitting? She's just following y'all. Standing. Her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you so you this is your grandmother in another form? The form of your the girl in the story's grandmother? <laughs> Probably she looks crazy enough. Hmm. What if we hear her out? See what she has to say. Oh, it's fine. I have two questions left. Give or take. Sure. Oh, you still haven't let me answer the first one. Right, fine. What happened to my parents? <laughs> well, you see, they they got swept up into into a uh, in, into a war against the uh, against some moblins that were attacking one of the villages that the, that that she was originally from. 
they were trying to set up a new village out out in the middle of the desert, out in the kind of like cliff sides near, at the edge of the desert. And so in order in order to uh, be able to build there, they had to keep defending it quite a bit. Quite a bit, let me tell you. And uh, they fought nobly. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that my mom w was a warrior? There's no way my mom was a warrior. What were you told? Also, is this your second question? Away. Is this your second question? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma said that she ran away. She wasn't a warrior. There's no way. Oh, is that what your grandma told you? <laughs> well, she must have had her reasons to tell you that. But no, yeah, she was a, uh, well, she wasn't a warrior for the army. It wasn't the most noble group that she was fighting for. But uh, it, it was, it was, it, that's probably why she protected you. It was really, she was working with, she was working as a, like, a guard for hire, essentially. You could call it that. It's a little bit more sleazy than that, but you could call it that. And, um, and, 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 uh, she, she did what she had to in order to, uh, provide for you because it was making good money. I'm just gonna stare for a sec and then get, like, super quiet and, like, more reserved than I've ever been the entire time and just kind of whisper my final question and just go, so then, what happened to my sister? Do you have any preferences there before I just make up stuff? Nope. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just know she's younger. That's all. It was like, mom disappeared one day, and it was just grandma and my sister, and then one day sister disappeared. <laughs> That's all I know. That's tragic. Yeah. <laughs> I like tragic backstories. I'm here for the drama. <laughs> Oh, she got eaten by a Malduga. Hole. I'm gonna look at Impa and be like, is she serious? I mean, you run around the desert by yourself enough. <laughs> I think she was out looking for, 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 your, for your mother at the time. Would you like to see her? It's actually why Grandma never told you why, because, uh, she ran off because Grandma told her about 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 the true things about Mother, and then so she ran off to go try to find Mother. Got swallowed. Grandma told her, not me. I cannot answer any more questions. Wasn't asking you. It was rhetorical. I'm gonna look at him. <laughs> just go look at him and be like, "Where is my sister?" Could it be that she thought your sister needed that? She needed a different answer than what you needed? That she thought she could handle a different truth than what she could take? My sister was 13. She was an impulsive teenager. If grandma said that mom was in trying to protect someplace that they were trying to build, my sister would go after her and grandma knows that. Or did Grandma tell her that to try and stop her from running off? Was she afraid that your sister would find the same fate your parents did? And gave it to her as a tale of caution? There's only one way to know, you know. Listen, Grandma ain't that stupid. <laughs> no, but Grandma is still alive. Maybe a conversation with her was overdue. I don't know if you can talk to that woman normally. Tie her up. <laughs> her choice. I had to pin her down for 20 minutes in order for her to tell me that she loved me. You think I could have a you normal don't... conversation with her about my dead mother and my dead sister? Do you need to force her love from you? Do you need to force the truth from her? Or do you need her to just tell you. I don't know I'm what sure I need from her at this point. 
Not even if she could give you the truth, tell you what really happened and her side of it all? I guess. I guess. Maybe when you go back, you try to have a conversation together, go in with an open mind and giving each other benefit of the doubt, and maybe a little magical meddling from above. <laughs> Fine. But I still want to see my sister. Absolutely. And I uh, I do the same transitional thing again where we're wandering through a forest and a, a jungle and uh, plains and fields and we land in the desert. Um, and as we're walking through the desert, we see a young girl. She still looks just like she did the last time you saw her. Um, eyes full of excitement and that rebellious spark you loved, loved so much. Uh, if you tell me there's a Mulduga there, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's halfway out of a Mulduga's mouth. Shut, Sharpen! <laughs> She's standing amongst. I'm not there. A, uh... She's standing amongst a uh, pile of Lizalfo skeletons, as if she had just slain them all herself. Uh, Stalfos skeleton things. The piles Stel of bones Stelfos. are there. Yeah, yeah, they're there. She's got the bones around her. <laughs> and she sees you and she comes running towards you. Not away. <laughs> Sister. She is 13, not five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Excuse you. Sister. <laughs> well. Now she's eight. <laughs> she always had a list, but I don't know. Don't judge. No! <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna reach out and, like, grab her and hug her, and just start sobbing. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just... Why? Just why? I'm gonna say this, like, while I'm sobbing. I'm not that good of an actor, I'm sorry. <laughs> you... I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to help, I wanted to help mom. You always were the braver one out of the two of us. Now it's your time, wielder of the Triforce of Courage, to pick up that bravery. You're still a brat, you know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> Sansi has a hard time, like, with emotions. If you call me a student, I'm gonna find you and punch you. I promise you. <laughs> Do not. I saw the look. I saw the look. Do not. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, ruffle my sister's hair and just look at her and just be like, behave. Were you talking to me? Because I wasn't even paying attention. No, not you. I was talking to Will. Oh, I was like, I was like, what did I do? No, I was talking to Will. I saw the look the moment I said Sandy has a hard time with her emotions. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like ruffle hair and just be like, behavior brat. <laughs> and then give her one more hug and start walking away. Um, like, I am, I am. Sure you are. You know, I've matured a lot since, since I died. I can see it. Doesn't mean you're still not a troublemaker. <laughs> That's what I thought. See you around, Squirt. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. Hopefully not for a while. Wait, wait. Did you die? I'll explain Not it yet. to you later. We gotta get these folks back. <laughs> All right. All right. And so I uh, spirit us away back to the the uh, magical McDonald's. Oh, spirit spirited McDonald's. away. Hey. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we we find ourselves back outside the McDonald's. So I think that's everyone, right? You just want to get back to selling your spices, and you can't do that here. 
now, the real quest begins. And I like do another little spiriting through a transitional of landscapes. We climb some mountains. We Wait. watch the sunset over the beach. We still haven't found out why Kogoro is afraid of dogs. That's true. <laughs> That's Kogoro. true. <laughs> You're absolutely Wood. right. <laughs> Wood. I think I have just the place for you. And I, uh, is it a dog park? <laughs> I want to see about a Excuse dog you. park. <laughs> it's a spirit shelter. Let's go! Even worse. <laughs> Actually, do you have a location from your memory? Like, step out of, out of character for just a second. Do you have a location, uh, like, from your memories that you would have, that you would like for me to summon? Particular. Mm. Wasn't your reasoning like you saw it on the street one day eating bones? <laughs> from like <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the reason I remember you were like going through a town and you just saw it eating bones and you were terrified because it was like giant like Molduga bones <laughs> it wasn't Molduga bones it was just like a regular dog bone <laughs> I thought you said it was big though <laughs> yeah but you gotta think here if Gogoro's scared of a dog he's gonna assume it's big anyway even if yeah, it's just a little dog <laughs> it's true should oh, have him eat service. <laughs> I think he should be service. <laughs> See how he fares with a three-headed dog. I think oh, we're gonna boy. go to a boneyard. We're gonna go to a place that has all of the various creatures you've killed. All of the monsters you've defeated. All of the trials you've overcome. This place exists in the spirit world and in your memories. Um, and we go through like a I picture the constellations just opening up before you as we uh, soar through your recollections of your your various uh, various beasts, all of the stall goblins you fought, all of the the bony bony monsters that you faced off against, right? Stall goblins, stall salphoses, and stall noxes galore, and they're all. It's like we're walking through a library with them all, a museum with them all highlighted and cataloged and described. And you see almost overlaid on top of it, these encounters playing back as you realize you were mightier than those bones. And then as we continue, <laughs> as, as we get to the end of this museum walk, um, there's this little comforting uh, shelter filled with children small kids who have hopefully never seen things like the horrors you just walked through uh all playing with fluffy little pets dogs and cats and birds all around them in like this this debriefing re reset room uh and i say look there's nothing to fear here you have conquered far greater Nope, he's he's laying down in the fetal position right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing so well till he saw all the dogs. It's all the tiny ones. <laughs> he's just rocking back and forth right now. They, in the it's all the dogs that like see you on the floor and they start dogpiling you. <laughs> it's all the tiny shih tzus, all the derpy shih tzus. <laughs> He They're licking away all of his sodium. He's no! drinking. <laughs> no. He immediately rolls up into a ball. One of them. They're just using him as a salt rock. Uh, one of them nips you a little bit as they're all like playing this game, right? And another one like sort of fights him off for it and like licks, and it's like a whole like dog cuddle fest thing. Kogoro is immediately going to roll up into a ball, and he is going to activate his spell Stone Spikes. <laughs> so he has now turned himself into a giant spiky ball. You're a tough rock to crack, I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I've got more. <laughs> of course you do. Um, okay, okay. What if... Were there ever dogs before that dog? We go back through the memories again. We look for mm. your childhood. When okay. You were just a wee little pebble. 
All right. So I'm making this crap up on the fly, but I don't care. We all are. <laughs> Do you think this was planned? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, let's see. We go through a memory of his as a kid, and he's playing with some other Goron, uh, his, his good friend. And they're on the bottom of Death Mountain, so they're not up on Death Mountain. They're at the bottom where normal people can be without getting burned up uh and he and his friend see a dog running around in the grass and so they go over to see the dog and they're curious as to like what it is because they don't see dogs they live up on a burning mountain for goodness sakes and so they play with the dog and uh they decide to play hide and seek. And so Kogoro's friend tells him to go count and he and the dog are gonna go hide. So Kogoro goes and counts. Uh, and then after he counts, he starts looking around for his friend and the dog. Can't find them anywhere. Spends over an hour looking for them. Has no idea where they are. And so now Kogoro thinks that the dog ate his friend or took his friend away. And thus he is afraid of dogs taking him away like they did his friend. Oh Can no, I... that's terrifying. I don't like that. <laughs> that <is terrifying. laughs> so we're in this memory and I want to walk you through it. We're like watching it all unfold as you just described. But as we look back in hindsight, I sort of fill in the gaps, the things that you, you didn't see before. And I, I walk with you around to where the friend was hiding. And I, I show you what you didn't see, right? I show you that where your friend was hidden, the, uh, there was a horrid uh, fire choo-choo jelly chasing the dog that the, uh, your friend chased after to try and stop because he saw that the dog was burning. The, the, the friend was another Goron, right? Mm hmm Yeah. And the, um, your friend didn't realize that the dog would be hurt by the flames, but it was. And he, he tried to save the dog. He died trying to, or he, he chased it on through the, the mountains, past the, the zone you normally played hide and seek and watch this, this behind the scenes thing that you had no way of knowing before um and a uh, an igneo talus came out as they they're playing this game of chase and pushed your friend mm. off and the dog came back to try and find you to tell you what had happened to try and bring you to save your friend to show you where they had fallen off the ledges into the the fiery Darb pond. Uh, and then I show you another scene. I take you to a class of a group of Hylians all gathered around teaching dogs things. And we're just watching from the background, seeing as they, they teach dogs to, to follow orders and commands, training them to, to do as they're bid rather than as than following some aggressive nature, right? They're they're sitting and they're staying and they're shaking and they, they bark, right? Mm hmm And you see that these helpless little Hylians who would burn alive in an instant uh, on your mountain have been able to find a sort of power over the dogs. That these weak little creatures are, are stronger than them. As you, you watch this sort of teaching seminar class thing what uh what do you do uh he looks a little baffled to see weak little hylians well weak in his perspective weak little hylians making these dogs sit and roll over and play fetch and stuff and he's he's baffled by it 
because when he saw the dog come back in his childhood, he thought the dog, you know, did something to his friend and was now back for him. So he ran away thinking the worst of the dog. And so he's, he's baffled by the fact that these human people, these Hylians are, are able to command these dogs. Sorry. Like uh, Palm just had to command a cat. <laughs> he just, he thinks he's clever. If he drops his toy down in the couch, then there's a good reason for him to have to dig in the couch. That's not right. Sorry, <laughs> as you were. <laughs> no, that's about it. He's <laughs> just baffled. And now I take you to uh, a final scene. I take you to the the friend. Um, we we wander through the spirit realm for a little while until we discover him. Uh, and this is this is your real childhood friend. Where we determined. Skyded, right? You recognize him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, he would um, recognize him. And the friend now has a whole slew of dogs all around him that are just lighting up his world. And he sees you coming around the, the corner, around the top pillar of rocks, because you're on a, 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 something that looks similar to Death Mountain. Not quite right, like a, a spirit realm parody of it almost. Mm hmm. And he sees you and he. Raises a hand or wave. You look different now. He doesn't quite recognize you. It's been many years. <laughs> mm. He 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 sees his friend surrounded by dogs, and he's thinking that they're mauling his friend. So he's like rolling down there to try and save him from the dogs. You do so. You roll down the hill and you, you land at the the pasture filled, the, not pasture, the space, the, the canyon caveat space filled with, uh, cavity space it's filled with uh, filled with dogs and your friend and several of the dogs run right on up to you. I try, I try to swing a, my sledgehammer around. Try and get the dogs to back off. The dogs do back up. Do you try to hit any of them, or just like a threatening before they approach? Yeah, just threatening them. Not trying to actually hit them. Mm. Uh, you definitely back up. A couple of them like yelp and jump back to your friend, and they, they bare their teeth at you, protecting your friend. Uh, Kogoro looks at his friend. He's like, Why are you letting these dogs all around you, comrade. He Why? He didn't recognize your body, but he recognizes your voice. <laughs> uh, nobody else talks quite like that. <laughs> Fedora Will, you got this? So, oh, so, so you said, why are you with the dogs? Is that, is that... Yeah, why are these dogs all around him? Aren't they just the cutest? No, they... They hurt you last time. <laughs> no, they didn't. No. That wasn't... That guy couldn't hurt anyone. Isn't that right? Mm. This is a little sus. He's the imposter. Here, here. <laughs> no, come, come pet, come pet him. Mm. Why? <laughs> They've done nothing but bring bad luck every time I've seen these little things. <laughs> Is that true? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Maybe this one can bring you good luck. Mm, I highly doubt that. Because the last time I saw a dog, when we were kids, you were gone. 
So clearly dogs bring bad luck. From just one time? You're making that assumption? Well, I can't be that wrong. They they take bones and eat them for goodness sakes. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, 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 it's... They're not eating the bones, they're just getting at the, like, you know, the... You, you ever had bone marrow before? No, I can't say that I have. Or maybe I have. Oh, it's very delicious. You're telling me you've never made something with a bone broth, oh great Goron Spice Cook Extraordinaire Merchant Man. Kogoro eats a lot of things. <laughs> he doesn't know what they are. Kogoro <laughs> will literally not. eat anything that is put in front of him in food form. <laughs> The guy eats rocks. <laughs> and so aren't... What, what, so why can you judge the dogs for doing the same? Because they're the evil little fuzzy harpies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. How? Because... I don't know, because... No. They're evil little things. I think you're wrong. I remembered now that you were really annoying back when you were <laughs> Oh, thanks, I try. Oh, brother. No, come here. Come here, though. Come, just, just, just let him, let you, you just at least let him sniff you. Mm. Fine. He puts the sledgehammer away. And he allows the dogs to go and sniff him. He, uh, they start like sniffing your hands, start coming like coming around and like get really close to your butt and start sniffing um, back there. Um, hey, get away from that! Yep, yep. It's like shooing them. Yep. Mm. And do you need me to do the chihuahua bark? <laughs> <laughs> That's so accurate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for her. Just clipped. We got a couple clips here. Thank you. Um, the, um, the dog, the dog, the dog just like afterwards, just like, just, just ignores what you did and just comes back up, starts sniffing you, starts making its way back to the butt again. <laughs> He's still shooting it away from his backside. I, uh, I, I move in and intervene a little bit because we don't need any sort of anything to add uncomfortability to this situation. <laughs> Trying to make him more comfortable with dogs. So I, I kind of like start using myself as a, a, a human barrier. Hylian barrier. Sheikah barrier. I don't know. <laughs> yip, 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 yip. Start sniffing Impa. Who's a good little fella? You're a good little fella. You like the ear scratchies. <laughs> you like the ear scratchies. <gasps> what a good guy. Oh, You're not going to turn like into spiders, are you? <laughs> no. The 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 kid the, the kid is just like why would he turn into spiders? That's such a weird thing to say. I completely oh, agree. No it idea. is a very weird thing to happen. You have no idea. It's a very traumatized group. <laughs> but I'd call I'll this therapy session a success, yeah? In game <laughs> and real life. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know I can trust these little fur creatures? It, um, you see one of the dogs, um, go up to a, um, a bokoblin skeleton on, on, on the, uh, that's lying on the ground and it starts just kind of peeing on it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Kokoro gets a kick out of seeing a dog pee on a bokoblin skeleton. 
See, they're not so bad. Mm. Well, if they hate the enemies that I hate, then maybe they're not so bad. The geese. Mm. Zelda chimes in. We take those. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> she, meanwhile, she she was like she was standing behind with a uh, box with a box of spirit popcorn, just kind of. <laughs> I honestly did not see you put something in your mouth, and that was absolutely <laughs> terrifying. I was like, how did he do that? <laughs> yeah. I thought you just made that noise with your teeth, like some sort of demon? Well, that's us. <laughs> oh, jeez. Terrify me. <laughs> well, maybe they can be slightly trusted. I guess. I guess that's good enough. Hmm. All right, so... Everybody's souls are free of weight. Zelda, you've made peace with your demons. Sanzi, with yours. I plan, at least, to make peace with yours. Rova. Goro. Arbit. You all feel the burdens, the weights of your lives. A little bit less heavy than when you came here. Both your bodies and the, and especially the the symbols of the triforce on your on your on your hands start glowing tremendously, and you see <laughs> it's the 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 you know how you only had like. A, Quarter of a third of the Triforce, right? The remaining, the remaining, you know, uh, three fourths of your third start to like kind of glow as well. Not not as brightly as your own peaks, but enough to let you know you guys have really grown in unity. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. Grovile, would you like to say it? The real growth was the <laughs> friends we made along the way. And that is where we end today's session. <laughs> oh my you had goodness. to add that in there. It, it was good for this one. <laughs> it really was, though. No, you're right. Oh, Palm, God. Palm, you're like an, you, you would make an excellent DM. Like, that was, that was really good. Why? Thank mm. you. Yes, honestly, I did. Let Let's note also that I didn't. That I only asked for like the input, like the fact that she came in and just like jumped on it. It was like, all right, we're. I'm gonna. Help oh yeah, out. came in swinging. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. thank you. Absolute you flattery. Kudos. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, absolutely. Um. All righty. So. Oh, now I got to come up with a with a with a question to ask everyone. Palm, you have to stick around for this too. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want it to be known on record that we weren't supposed to do this tonight. <laughs> we had agreed. We had agreed. We talked. I'd like, hey, I have tonight off. Do you want to do this tonight? And he said, no, no, no. We're not. We're not doing this tonight. They're not there yet. They're not ready. And then they They're managed to get it. there. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. We said, Anytime okay, you... Grandma, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was making dinner when I hopped on stream. The noodles Listen, are mostly Grandma boiled. said she loved me. That was good enough for me. That's all I wanted. <laughs> when Kogoro gets out of here, he's going to go find Vasha and see if they can go get a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to the bar. I was surprised. Kogoro's backstory kind of tugged my strings a little. I was like... Oh, I'm gonna pet my dog now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like round of applause. All of you to, guys like, with all of everyone. your characters. Yeah, that was amazing. You guys dug deep on that. Everyone did a great job here, literally. All of you. I played too much D and D. 
Yeah. It's good though. It's too much. If you don't have a tragic backstory, then you don't have a backstory. <laughs> See, I, just, I mean, I I don't play D and D often, but I like to write, and all of my stories are tragic. You can ask my sister; she hates reading my stories. <laughs> I mean, who, wants, who wants a main character who's happy and who has a family and stuff? Nobody wants that. Listen, if we're not Literally, bridging the one family. Of my, one of my stories was so happy and one of my characters was like a dragon character and she got spooked and like fell out of the sky and fell into a campfire and her wings were <gasps> Like that no! is the type of stuff I write. Well... <laughs> I've really mean to my characters. Nobody it's reads my so writing much more anymore. Fun. <laughs> Sounds like you murder your characters. No, she tortures no. them. It's worse. I would never. I would never. Why would I do that? Em, if you're here, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right, so I'm gonna get three AM cry. <laughs> oh, First, boy. where do I find you? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nothing like reading some good angst in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't come with it. I'm just going to ask an AI for, for, for a prompt. Oh, boo. 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 Well, do you boo. have one? Will relies oh, too oh, much on AI. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah? What's, what you got? I do. My question of the day is, what is the most interesting tragic character backstory you have ever encountered? encountered like in yeah a you don't have to have created it just maybe another p player made it maybe you read it in a book you saw it in a movie what's the most it just like really struck a different chord with you batman well it's this guy called Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> word oh, wow <laughs> this guy and called why? luke skywalker <laughs> no 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 <laughs> We weren't going to do and why. That felt personal, but now we're doing and why. Uh, whoever has an answer can go first. I don't know. I'll go first. <laughs> Alex <Right>. said bye. <laughs> bye. Speaking bye, of Alex. no. <laughs> Anyways, go know. on. Uh, Batman, for sure. Bruce Wayne. I mean, he was a kid went to the movie theaters with his parents and then they got shot in an alley and he was left as an orphan i mean you can't get much worse than that it's only See, ruined by his mother's pearls bouncing along the street because a real pearl necklace wouldn't do that she got the party city <laughs> pearl necklace. Really, we're talking the physics. I, I noticed it once that, that somebody mentioned it. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> those are fake pearls. <laughs> Great, now I'm gonna have. It that. makes it more tragic. <laughs> His parents weren't really rich. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty sad. I mean, then he became a bat. <laughs> So, I think he lost his mind somewhere along the line. Speaking of losing minds, how, what, tell us about your stream. Anyway, how's it going, everyone? My name's Viridian. I'm a 18-plus variety streamer here on Twitch. We play a lot of Nintendo stuff, so Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, things like that. And occasional uh, crowd control games here and there. Uh... Yeah, currently right now I am playing through Super Mario Odyssey, trying to beat the game without getting hit again, because I hate myself like that. So, <laughs> always a fun time. So stop on by if you enjoy chaos. Yeah. All right, who has an answer? So. Yes. Did someone say something? Stop, Pong said something. I think, both, I think two of us did at the same time. I opened my mouth, but I didn't say anything. Go, oh, Val, go. So, yeah. Me? Okay. Yeah, go. Uh, Do a thing. Um, sorry, so it's a tragic backstory that I, that I, that I like? Or Just a I character backstory in general. With you. That's, that's like a tragic... With you. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Zuko from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, that's oh yeah, answer. that's pretty tragic. Has yeah. anyone yeah. not seen that show? That is pretty tragic. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know if I need to explain it then. <laughs> um, well, I'll explain it to the people in chat who might not have seen it. Well, I don't want to. If, if people, if people, yeah, chat go watch the show. show. They need to go watch the show. But basically, you know, without spoiling anything, it's not like a oh tragic everyone died kind of backstory. It's more like a abuse victim kind of gaslighted, and then he kind of turned him into a a villain and stuff like that. And it took a long time to kind of overcome that and all that. So probably, <laughs> yeah. probably one of the best parts of that show is, is his arc. So. Uh, gaslighting because he's firebender. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> um, but yeah, I'm K Grovile. I do the streaming thing sometimes. <laughs> um, so I do a lot of speedruns, mostly Zelda games, although we've kind of taken a little break from that the past month because I've been a little busier and we've been doing a lot of ROM hacks actually. Um, doing a couple different Pikmin 2 ROM hacks and then. A ROM hack of Pokemon Coliseum, which made the game like super difficult. Um, so all sorts of random stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so we kind of we kind of do whatever. We're going to be playing Mario RPG next week because I've never played the original. Um, and if people ever been telling me to play it, so when the remake comes out, we'll be doing that. So lots of lots of fun stuff going on. Is Ganon allowed to be my answer? Ganon has a tragic backstory. Wind Waker? Probably really? Wind Waker. If I if I yeah, had to like pick that. one, but I like the idea of the entity. Just overall. Forever on a repeated uh curse cycle of being resentenced back to a land of evil and, and hatred and whatever, right? Self imposed. And then he breaks out. Yeah. And he, then he breaks he out it and they're himself. just like, ah, oh, even more. No, uh, actually, the first thing that came to mind after I thought about it for a second was Frankenstein, uh, the doctor, not the monster. Um, mm. I don't know. Can't really explain exactly why, but there is something about like the the striving for excellence and trying so hard to figure out something great, and it just backfiring so terribly and haunting him to the ends of the earth. That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Impa. I thought that was clear. <laughs> I'm Palm Tree Tries. I co wrote this campaign, sort of, kind of, I guess. I am a Nintendo streamer, and we stream most mornings uh, and some afternoons occasionally. Good stuff, good times, good vibes. Um, I'd love to have you all there sometime. Hi. Uh, all right, I, I'm, pre I'm prepared. I have one. Do oh, it. I completely wanna... agree, Alex. Okay, so there is an indie game that I played a while ago in college when I was not emotionally stable to begin with because it's college. And I, I'm kind of going from memory here and also the Wikipedia page because I, when I tell you this messed with me, I deleted this from my Steam library and hid it. Like, I was like, I cannot go back to this ever again. And it's going to sound kind of dumb, especially if anyone's ever played it, but it's called Always Sometimes Monsters. It's about an author that uh, gets evicted from their house or from their apartment on the same day they get a letter that their um, their ex is getting married to their best friend or their ex best friend. And they travel across the country to like go into it. And there's it's just oh, this this this, this character just gets it's supposed to be a player character self insert, but they just get used a lot and like any semblance of a good ending is only achieved by immense amounts of suffering even on like the player's part and so it it hits kind of hard at the end when you're just like oh did i just have my character spend like a week doing nothing but waking up in the morning drinking a protein shake and then going to the gym and getting the crap beat out of them by like random boxers for like eight hours before going home and doing it again for the next day like Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, and I to, to, 
it's not like that creative of a backstory, but the whole thing messed me up. And I literally went to Wikipedia to make sure I had things right. And I found out there's a sequel and my stomach got upset. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, I finished that and I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> just oh, felt a ske skeeved me out. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm Solid State. I don't stream. But if you send me 15... 15 education approved cereal box tops <laughs> i will do the banana stream what what the i got heck? you you're gonna have to put your address out there for that <laughs> one 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 yes <laughs> <laughs> um all right so uh, that leaves one more. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, honestly, it's been really hard to think of a, a tragic backstory that messed with me because I read a lot. So a lot of the stuff that I read messes with me. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I would say probably one of the ones that messed with the, me the most was the main character from Nino Kuni. Um, the, the first game. Um, cause his backstory of like how he got started to like have to like essentially save the world, it made me cry and I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> so I, I would say probably that or Harley Quinn, one of those two. Um, I, but yeah, I'm I Black Rose. I just playing, you know, Kuni recently, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, I know you're talking about. <laughs> um, I'm Black Rose. I do I do the stream, rarely, but I do. Um, I I'm variety Christian streamer. I have fun. We we do things. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm too tired to think of an actual introduction. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> Fair. Um, my answer. I've been watching a lot of One Piece, and I'm. Pretty far in. I've gone past the time skip. I'm already get. I'm already guessing which character it is, and I've yeah. never watched One Piece, and I yep. think I know. I think I know. Yep. I yep. wouldn't know. I don't know any of the names. I just know of a character. Yeah. Nico Robin's backstory. Do I? Do I? I feel like it would be too spoilery. A lot of people are trying to catch. Me. I. I would just say the name. It's it's kind of spoilery. I would just say the name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Nico Robin's backstory hit me hard. Uh, also, that scene, that very important scene, that you know, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. For her, watch it with the dub because the voice actress nails it. And apparently, that was like first take too. Yeah. Honestly, I thought you were going to talk job. about the dude who wears a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie. Frankie's story. It's. Eh. Yes. No, it's um, um, Senior Pink. I don't know. I just had to look him up. He may, it may, you may not be that far. It says chapter 1020. No, chapter 702. So I don't know. Oh, I'm it's definitely just a not big there. Guy yet, in a baby, a big grown adult in a baby outfit, and his backstory is horrible. Oh, Where I'm are not you able there. to watch One Piece dubbed? Nowhere, not not for me at least. I can't. I tried. Yeah, no, I I watch it subbed. Um, a friend of mine shared shared that dubbed clip, um, to me, uh, and like I was like, yeah, oh, that is, yeah, that is good. Um, and this stream is sponsored by NordVPN. You looking for a dubbed <laughs> One Piece? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I could stream it. I just, I tried to watch One Piece before and I didn't even get through the opening of the first episode. Yeah, I've tried to go through it. I can't go through that. It's Fair. too long. I've been, I've been chipping away at it. I do like maybe two episodes a day, mo most days. I don't think I'm getting it to, to it today, but... <laughs> Anyways, commitment for one piece. Mm. Uh, hi, I'm Will. 
Uh, you've been watching my stream. Congratulations, and you're welcome. And I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you guys can see at the bottom right my schedule. We do we do Nintendo games and um and tabletop RPGs and uh, some other things here and there. Tracer still wants me to play Trombone Champ. I guess I gotta play Trombone Champ or something. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta see that. Oh yeah. I'm thinking of getting it on the Switch literally just for the gimmicky theremin controls. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Amazing. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That is everything. Alright. Say goodbye, players in Palm. Bye. Bye, Bye players in Palm. <laughs> Bye, players in Palm. Leave stream together. Alrighty, let's figure out who is live and alive now, shall we? Eerie. Oh, Evie, yes! Oh, I'm so glad you're still here. Alrighty, we do have a raid message, by the way. You can copy the first one if you have my emotes, but if you do not have my emotes, never fear, the second message is here. Uh, Alright, now let me figure out who we're raiding. because we Oh my goodness, options. Options.com, oh my goodness. Oh, goodness. Ah, geez. Okay, let's figure out who it's been longer on. So, we got Alec 18 days ago. What about... Wait. Oh. Well, doesn't that just make sense, then? I think I know who we're raiding. Um... And it's perfect because Bert also does tabletop RPGs. He does actually a um, a uh, Kingdom Hearts themed tabletop RPG as well. He's not doing it tonight. He does it on Sundays. Um, oh, that was my PC. That was my PC. Sorry, sorry. Um, oh, thanks for being here, Evie. Thanks to all of y'all for being here, Kara as well, and uh, and Stars, all all y'all and Alex, everybody. Uh, we're gonna get this raid underway. Um, note that he is not a family friendly streamer, but though he is a very friendly streamer. Um, very friendly. One of the most wholesome and welcoming places you'll find. Um, but yeah, uh, you're confused looking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Now, uh, again, we do have Zelda Quest is a podcast. So be sure to find, to find it over on the, uh, on the Spotify um where to go where to go there it is be sure to follow us and follow the podcast on spotify um now if you love someone you tell them the truth boy how do i love you guys so here's the truth that can be found over in colossians 1 13 um referring to the father here who has rescued us from the dominion of the darkness who and transferred us to the kingdom of the son he loves. So now talking about the son, in whom we have the redemption, the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. That is our true time for today. That's all the time that we have for today, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Let's go share the love and hype with Burr. Love y'all, boy.